Hello and welcome back to the Saturday Mega Series. Oh yes, back on Car Mechanic Sim, which is uh, very fitting considering I was just playing a vehicle mechanic today. <laughs> uh, shit. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um. So first off, to explain, um. Like I do in every video, I explain that I have a fan going in the background. You go, ah, oh, that's what that noise is, and that's what that wind noise is, and you go, ah, okay. And you're probably wondering why, and I go, yeah, it's because it's hot in here. It's still very hot. It's a, we're into September now, and it's still hot. <laughs> it's starting to cool down on certain days, but eh, it is what it is, so. Um... That's what that is. I do not want to turn into a puddle, which I kind of already am, but eh, it is what it is. <laughs> Sorry for the audio loss. I was just uh, making sure everything's going good still. Every time I tab out, because I had to tab out, so that's why I monitor my secondary monitors. I don't, I don't have one, so, anymore, which is unfortunate. Alright, let's go ahead and start a new game. Or start a new game, let's go ahead and start start the game. What am I talking about? I have no idea anymore. I had to take a uh, little bit of a pause there. Clear my throat and all that. <laughs> it just all of a sudden it just flared up out of nowhere. Eh. I don't like to cut a, a lot of different things out. Just, it is what it is. It's life, man. We can't all be perfect. <laughs> okay, so. I on the car mechanics in, which is very, very nice. Um, I went ahead and edited the wheels ever so slightly. Kind of figured out a few things with it. Um, can't do anything about the audio still. So, uh, when we bring up the wheel. Um, I'm going to do a countdown from three. We're going to go three, two, one, and then I'm going to spin the wheel. In that three, two, one, you should turn down your headset. <laughs> the wheel is very loud. I cannot do anything about the audio after it. Um, maybe I'm missing something or I'm just an idiot. Could be either. Could be both. Who knows? But yep, as this as this works, we're gonna bring up. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and bring up the wheel on our game here because this is this is what we like to do now. We just like to torture ourselves. So yeah, I went ahead and modified the wheel a little bit. So now there's three different spots that we can land on. So now there's uh, nine spots in total that we can land on. Um, and whatever we land on, we have to do, unless we get the same one twice in a row. So if we get two barn finds in a row, uh, like it is on now, if we get two barn finds in a row, then we have to, uh, then we spin again. So that that's that's just to keep from being rep, uh, repetition. I'm hoping that adding three extra spots will. Uh, um, I'm hoping that that will uh, uh, kind of offset the wheel a little bit more, so that it's harder to land on certain areas, or it's harder to land on the same thing twice. Is basically what I'm trying to go through. Um, so. If you don't know, I'll tell you about the wheel. Uh, if you don't know about it, if you've never watched this, um, always a good idea to go back and watch the previous ones. But we can go ahead and explain it again, not a big deal. Um, so whatever we land on, we have to do. That's obvious. Uh, job one, two, or three. Um, I will show you what those are. Also, every time I alt tab, uh, I lose audio focus, um, so the game sound cuts out completely with this game. That's just how it is. Can't really do anything about it since my since I lost my second monitor some weeks ago. Okay, so where my mouse is on now, job one, job two, job three. It, this could be any car, any job, um, whatever it is we have to do. So if we were to land on, say, job one, we have to do this one. No matter how complex or simple, even if it's just like an oil change. 
or if it's like all of these are all lit up. <laughs> like every single one. It don't matter. Don't matter what car, don't matter what it is. If, if we land on job one, if we land on job two, this it'll be the second slot. Job three, it'll be this slot. So one, two, three. Either of those. Um, barn finds, if we land on a um, barn find, we then go into here, into our... I keep forgetting this one needs to click. Uh, you need to click to open things, not hit E. I keep hitting E. <laughs> um, so then we go into here, we hit tab, we grab a barn find map, we select the barn find. And we have to buy one car from there, no matter what cars are there. Unless there's not a car there, that can't happen. Then, um, then we just say we got lucky and spin the wheel again. <laughs> so, um, if we get job, say job one and job three in a row, like if we were to get like say job one, we did job one and then we got job three, then we just re-roll basically um, because job one is basically like job two and job three it's just random um so yeah if we get junkyard uh then uh we go to the junkyard which is right here we go to the junkyard and we have to buy a car there no matter what car is there we have to buy at least one we can buy multiples same with the barn finds we can buy multiples but uh um we have to buy at least one and then those are rebuilds by the way um Oops, that's not how we do that. Let me bring the wheel back up here. Okay. So as you can see on the wheel, um, it says barn find. So the car we have to get is so we have to buy a car. We have to bring it here, and we have to do a full 100% rebuild. We can do upgrades. We can do whatever we want, just as long as every single part on that car is at 100%. Um, we have to paint it. We have to align that, uh, align the suspension and the and the uh, headlights. But we do have to align it, uh, or we do have to have every single part. The entire thing needs to be at exactly 100%. Um, we can add upgrade parts. Don't matter. Um, and then we sell it basically. Or if we decide that oh this is nice enough we want to keep it we're kind of at that stage now where we can keep a car here and there we still want to sell most of them though um, and same with the junkyard if we get a car from the junkyard it has to be 100 percent has to be painted as well so we have to do it 100 percent. that's a full just 100 percent rebuild oh as well as um before we continue on um and let's do a <laughs> let's do an effing chat for my um, uh, from a mouse, my mouse did die, um, a couple of nights ago, so, uh, it, it finally, cause, uh, it, it was getting to the point where you had to really hit the clicker just to get it to click sometimes, um, most of the time I didn't want to hold a click or double click randomly, well, it finally just stopped clicking altogether, so. It doesn't work no more. Um, so I had to go and get a cheapo mouse, like a five dollar mouse. So we put that other, we put our good mouse to bed um, forever because <laughs> it's not working. And I'm not te technologically advanced enough, nor do I have the steady nerves to do soldering to solder on a new bit. There, there's a bit in there that when you hit it, it does the click. And, uh, yeah, 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 if you wanted to fix that, you'd have to get another one and then solder the new one on the board, on the circuit board inside there. Um, and even if I had the technological know-how, I've actually tried soldering before, and I cannot keep my hands still. <laughs> uh, I, got, I got the shakes constantly. I, I do shake a lot, so. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> and let's go ahead and, um, let's go ahead and spin that wheel. Just getting everything set up. Okay. So, like I said, um, 
I'm going to go three, two, one, and then I'm going to spin the wheel. So now would be a good time to turn down your headphones because this wheel is loud when it spins. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, spin. What are we going to get? Also lengthen out the way the wheel spins so it free spins a little bit more. Junkyard! Hooray! We got a junkyard. So junkyard means we go to the junkyard and we go find ourselves a beauty. A diamond in the rough, some would say. In the very rough, rough. <laughs> it's very... Them, them cars are very, uh, very bad. But yep, we have to do a 100% rebuild. So, uh, just making sure... Okay, everything's good. Alright, to the junkyard! I love doing this. Um, this may, uh, I don't know. Um, I've been thinking for a little while. This may be one of the last car mechanics things I do for, at least for a little while. And we got to find something else to do on Saturdays, because, um, again, it, this is where car mechanic sim kind of dies <laughs> in the previous ones as well. It's like once you've done all the story mission or all the story jobs um, and you've done all the achievements and you, you've been there, which I have, uh, you just kind of get bored of it. <laughs> I, even when DLC has come out, it's just like, eh, I really don't want that DLC. <laughs> I don't really don't want to play the game again. But yeah, every Saturday we've been playing Car Mechanic Sim for the past for the past quite a few Saturdays now. Three or four. I'm not sure. Yeah, we're going to have to find a new game, I think, eventually. I do like Car Mechanic Sim. It's just there's a... Uh, it's one of them things, you know. That's kind of hard to explain. Oh, uh, speaking of hot rods, I redid some of the hot rods. I don't think this is one of the ones I redid. Uh, no. No, that's not one of the ones I redid. So I redid two. Uh, I redid two of these hot rods. Um, I increased the motor size um, to where it was, to about where it's supposed to be. And I also um, added a few parts here and there, kind of fiddled with the exhausts a little bit, and whatnot, I, with the car editor. Just kind of played with stuff. Um, raised it, or yeah, I brought up the, the scale of the uh, motors, so they're a little bit more realistic. Oh look, a little golf. Little inline four. Inline fours aren't bad cars to work on. They're actually fairly easy. Um, if we don't find another car that we want, we could um, we could turn this one over for a profit. A little little profit, not much. I like that one car. Jeez. Oh. Oh, we could turn this over for a hefty profit. This, these things are worth a lot. Eh, I can't get back here. Um, this is the Chrysler 300C. Um, we'd be buying it for... What's the price? We'd be buying it for $4,800. I believe this one sells for quite a bit. Uh, brand new. And we'd basically be turning it right now. Um... Chevy Impala, I believe. Yep, Chevrolet Impala. 1965. Not a bad car to work on. We've already seen the motor to that one, so... Uh, estimated car value... 4,600. This is an estimated car value. 4,900, so... Chrysler 300 is Ooh... I don't think this is a car you can buy. I want it though. <laughs> For a second there, I was like, ah, oh, and then it's just like, oh yeah, that car doesn't exist in this game. Sad face. 
Not finding a whole lot of goodies so far. And a couple of cars that we could use. Ooh. Nissan 350s, 3, no, 370s, no. Yes, 370s, 350, 370. What is it? 370s, 370s, Nismo. Now this car is worth a lot. This car would be a fun car to work on. Um, it's an inline six, it looks like, dual overhead cam. I don't think it's supercharged. Um, no. Well, it's a Nismo, so. Which I don't know what that means exactly. Um, I'm just assuming it's modified in some way. That's a that's a that's a good find. And you can tell it's Nissan <laughs> just by the symbol. Wait, was this part of like a DLC? All right, so the engine that's supposed to be in it is a yep V6 dual overhead cam. I don't know what VHR is. Like I said, I'm I'm not super verse. So, it is, so it's a V6, not an inline 6. I was an idiot. It's a V6. Of course it's a V6. I'm an idiot. Look at look where the cams are placed. Okay. Never mind. Uh, so that's looking like a very good possibility. Uh, that one's worth quite a bit, actually. Uh, we got ourselves a BMW. V8 supercharged. BMW 3 Series, the E46. Which I believe the E46 M3 did have the V8. And the supercharged V8 dual overhead cam. And supercharged. So that's a that's another good choice. Also love this cart too. Uh, you can't move this cart, but uh, I believe that was in um, junkyard sim or something like that. Look, there's a block. Can we buy the block? Nope. So our choices are BMW or Nissan, I think. I think we're all out of cars to look at, or places to look at for cars. Wait, didn't we like... Okay, we looked that way. Sometimes there's cars in between here. There's sometimes a car like right here in this spot. Um, sometimes there's a car in that spot. That spot and that spot. Sometimes I like to hide cars back here. Okay. Alright, I'm thinking the Nissan um, 370Z. Uh, I'm a man of the classic cars, but I'm not going to work on that until I fix the motor. I'll get around to it eventually, maybe. Someday. Who knows? Or probably not. Not sure. What's, what's the value value of this BMW, by the way? Thirteen grand might be worth it, but I'm thinking the Nissan. I want this? Give me this. Um, maybe it's too far gone. Wait a second. Is that a Buick? That's a Buick. Buick. Grand National, maybe? Body style? It's crushed in. Looks like they had a rollover. But the reason I say Buick is because Buick always did like the slotted taillights like that. And then the overall shape, the two door. Could be Buick. I know, because, um. 
Uh, I'm saying Buick, but it, it couldn't be the other car, the Oldsmobile version. Oldsmobile made one of these too, but I believe they had the taillights across rather than up. Possibly. Yeah, this Nissan is looking very, very nice. Yeah, I don't know if this is Nissan DLC or not. It does have the Nissan symbol. But, uh... Oh, wait. Nismo R? Like I said, I don't know if I have, or what DLCs I do have. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, DLC. So it is, it is an actual Nissan. Okay. <laughs> Funny. Which means they cannot, they cannot dent up the car, I believe. Well, it's not too bad. Um, let's go and buy it. Okay, put it in the garage. Let's go make ourselves a Let's go make ourselves some money on that. Oh, that's right. You just turned to garage. Yeah, um, if you do not know, a, a good way of um, making money in this game, if you're short on cash or you just want to make, make a quick buck without doing actual car jobs, you can come to the junkyard, uh, go through some of the trash piles, pull out part or buy parts, make sure they're over 15%. Um, I would say at least 20%. At the very least 20% in um, how bad, bad off the part is. And then repair parts and then sell the parts that you've repaired. Sell them to brand, or uh, repair them to brand new and then sell them. Make a, a good profit off of that as well. Okay, so we're missing a wheel. We're missing three wheels, never mind. We have a wheel, <laughs> I should have said. Uh, car wash, please. This is now Car Wash Simulator? I don't have... I can't, I can't grab the gun, unfortunately, and I can't spray it. We just clean the rest. <laughs> good for us, I guess. You know what we should do? We should upgrade this as well. I don't know if you can do any engine swaps, we'll say, but um, we should definitely put upgraded parts on this. Make it a real um, Nismo R. What I mean by real Nismo R, I mean R usually stands for a version of the. It's a version of the car that's uh, somewhat race worthy, I guess. I don't know if that's the exact terminology, but I believe in this in this case R is R is. Uh, for race. <laughs> not here. R for R for here is not race, that's reverse. But this R might be for race. Yeah, so maybe it's got some racing parts in it. Like I said, I'm not too up on my terminology for imports and stuff like that. Um, classic muscle, that's me. That's more my style. Do what we always do, move it to car lifter A, and then we pull off the body parts. That little window. But we had one tail light. That that was it, it wasn't it? It didn't even have any headlights. No. Nope. Didn't barely have nothing. I think you stand to gain the most profit from the junkyard stuff anyway. Um. Okay, let's go to the engine bay. I think that has a few fuses in it. Holy crap. It had like two. <laughs> uh, half of it's were missing like part of the suspension as well. all the clips for that. It's okay. There's no coolant in it because uh, for obvious reasons. 
Okay. No drive shaft, that's gone. And drop this transmission real quick. It's no big deal. Yes. So, if it tells me to drain the oil, I'm going to be irritated. <laughs> like, there's no oil in there. There's no exhaust on that engine either. So we should be able to just straight up pull it. Yeah, straight up pull out. Okay, now we go ahead and put it on the stand. That rusty engine. Beautiful. Very. Yeah, we're missing a lot of parts. Oh, we forgot to do interior. Um, interior disassemble. And now we just take the suspension apart. Oh, and it's the suspension. It's the annoying one. One that's got every part imaginable on it. Again, yeah. What I do is I just... I take this shock absorbers off, disconnect these springs here, and then I would... Unbolt the bot or unbolt this. And then same on this side. Undo the springs from the top, but you're not connected anyway. And then I just unbolt those. Oops. I just unbolt those. And then just, uh, um, since this one doesn't, how was this axle even on the car? That's what I want to know. It didn't have hardly anything attaching it to the body other than, um, other than those. Let's spray the last one. There we go. Suspensions always take the longest. So many parts to them. And we're done with this side. Back over. I don't know, I was almost thinking about doing this Saturday instead of this. Um. I was thinking about, like, uh, um, uh, what was I thinking about? Um, <laughs> I've completely forgot. Um, thinking about doing, um, automation, but then I was like, ah, oh, no, automation's on Sunday, that's tomorrow, so. Just like it would be cutting out of our time there. And I had the flip flop, uh, flip flop with the uh, playlists. And so I was just like, eh, for this Saturday, I kind of already had this planned, even though I don't really want to do it all that much. I enjoy car mechanics then, but man, is it uh, mind numbing at times. And I don't want to cut the content of this, um, <laughs> because, um, because it don't matter where you cut the content with this game, it's, uh, always kind of mind-numbing at times. You just kind of, kind of zone out sometimes. 
things I do. Like the way I used to play this game. Was I would, uh... I'd actually import my own music into the radio. And then listen to music. Through the radio. Or through my, uh, audio player. Because Windows 10 no longer has an audio player. Windows 10, or Windows Media Player no longer works, or at least, at least to my knowledge, it no longer works properly or some, something like that, like, you can't use it anymore, because Windows 10 decided that you should have to pay for that stuff instead, and then, uh, then they proceed to come out with an audio player that's free. They always got a, I don't know. I don't know what they were, what their idea was, what their plan was with that. There wasn't many parts on that car. Car status. So we're looking at body parts, one percent good, um, and just regular parts, one percent good. Those being both on one percent, which means we have all of it. Um, we have all the parts off of it. Um, Interior usually sits around 20 to 25 percent, depending on the vehicle. Um, there's not many parts to it anyway, so it's fine. All right, we're gonna go ahead and separate this. Separate this. We didn't have a battery, so take, take. Okay, we have parts there. Uh, separate this. I'll move this over to Carpenter A. Back over here. Take that. Um, use the equipment. Yeah, so the car was um, an ugly. Oh, it's that one color, isn't it? Or it's similar to that one color, where that one color, like, it's like a rainbow style. Um, it's the same effect when you burn metal to a point, or burn metal, uh, when you heat metal to a certain point that it gets overheated and it turns like these like rainbow color. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of doing that effect. You can kind of see it there. Yeah, that's what that reminds me of. Reminds me of one of those. Uh, so it's, it's like a pearl color, essentially. All right, then we can put it back, then we can check it out. Now the frame is now at 100%, so we're good there. So that's one of the four boxes checked off. We're going to go ahead and start doing our brakes, and just our overall general repair of certain parts. Okay, well we did all that we could there. <laughs> Almost done. Sorry, this mouse is super sensitive. Um, I don't know why. It's just the way it is. Cheapo $5 mouse. While that's working, we can go ahead and repair a few parts here and there. Usually we wait until after the engine's apart, but... Eh. We don't have to repair all the parts all in one go. And while I'm doing brakes, I might as well repair a few parts. So I'm not just standing there watching the brake lathe. Yeah, don't do that in real life, by the way. If you're if you're if you have brakes on a brake lathe, um, even if it's automatic, you want to stand there and make sure everything goes okay. Do not leave that thing unattended. In case something goes wrong. We were able to do all the brakes though, which is nice. Not that it really matters, we're going to sell them anyway. Um, because we're going to be buying performance brakes. Oof, that one. I was set up to fail there. <laughs> that was a bad one. As you can tell, the more damaged it is, the more red spots are, are there. Okay, so that's all those parts. There wasn't much to begin with. Okay. So 
we're good there. Just gonna check one more time. Yep. All right. Oh. And we're gonna do this one a little bit out of order. Let's do the uh, suspension first. I mean, we need to anyway to, before we put the engine in, really. Yeah, part mount. Were we able to fix this? Yes, we were. Um, we do need a fuel tank. So, we're gonna go to the main part shop. We're going to type in fuel. And we're just going to buy a fuel tank, that's it. And you're probably like, what are you doing? It's just like, yeah, we're doing performance parts, so we're gonna type in... Oh, we also need an air filter as well. It's just a normal air filter. Um, brakes... There's the four. Even four of those. Um, we need to go, and then we're going to type in fuel. We're going to buy a, I believe, a fuel filter. And then we're going to buy one of these. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and put that in. Put that in. Okay. So, rubber bushings. One, two, three, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, and 10. 10 forever bushings. Those won't be here. There is no suspension parts for upgrades, unfortunately. So you type in BUS, rubber bushing. 10 rubber bushings, okay. Now we can take advantage of the full speed now that we have a mouse that proper, properly holds the click. <laughs> I'm gonna miss my old mouse with character though. Like I, I've caught myself a few times like trying to push the click down a little bit harder than normal to get it to hold the click or like afraid to to click and drag because um, just that little bit of pressure difference would make the mouse not hold the click anymore if you did manage to get it. So um, and if you don't know on this game if you see the you see the ghost parts here you're just like you're like, oh crap, I forgot to buy that. Let me hit T and go buy it. It's just like, no, do this instead. Hit X of your, your cursor over the part, over the ghost part. Hit X, you'll hear that noise. Um, and you can see it. You hit Tab, and you can see it there. Hit T, Tab, click, buy, Tab again, click the X, it's gone. And now, a brand new part. So now you can do this at speed. Once you start doing it, um, just do it like that. Let's go to the other side, not this side as well. Now we aren't going to be able to repair these. So hit X twice because there's going to be two of them, one for each side. And there we go. Now we'll go to the other side. Sway bar. <laughs> I'm spinning the camera around, sorry. Okay. And we didn't have any of these, so XX. Oh, forgot to. Oops. Our mount. Oh, we're going to need two more rubber bushings as well. So I can t again, type in the US. Because those are going to be normal rubber bushings, because we're missing quite a few. I thought there was more. Once we run out, we'll run out. <laughs> we'll just buy more. It's fine. Luckily, there's not a delivery time for parts. Like a real mechanic shop. Like, they can get, if they don't have the parts in their little warehouse, the mechanic shop, um, they can call the local parts store and buy the parts from them. Um, and uh, they deliver pretty quickly, usually. Alrighty. Just like that. Those are shock absorbers. I put them in early. Whoops. missing a lot of the suspension arms, or suspension linkages. 
Okay, so we need one, two, three, four small rubber bushings. You know, I'm just going to buy ten of each. Jeez. My, uh... So yeah, on this mouse it does have a, uh, it does have a top middle button. Um, that I can press. Oh wait, that's not it. No, no it's the side one there. Okay. It's got a little side button, not a top button. I, was, I, I don't know why I looked at it and said it was a top button. That's weird. My old mouse had a top button. <laughs> Had two top buttons actually. This one has this little side button that I programmed with an auto clicker. So, yeah. Look how fast we can click. Okay. Or playing around. Right, ten of those, and then ten of those. And I and uh, I was able to set the settings with it as well. So I got it. It clicks the left click when you hold the button down. It clicks the left click every point zero two seconds. <laughs> it's very fast. All right, so one of them. Bang, bang, bang. And that's not the mouse that's doing that. It's the, the third-party software I'm using. So that I can have an auto clicker. This is a cheapo mouse. Um, the uh, uh, the mouse is not recognized by most pro most normal programs. In, in order for editable properties, and you can't go through Windows 10 either. This Windows 10 is a bitch. <laughs> I, I could go on all day about Windows 10. One of the worst Windows to date. Okay. And some could argue others, uh, other Windows uh, from the past. Other, other Windows installations, but I'd say Windows 10 is one of the worst. I'm not, I'm not bad-mouthing the company itself, just so you know. I'm just voicing my complaints about Windows 10. <laughs> Windows 10 has gave has gave me so much trouble in the past. Like it, it used to be um, that every update would break my PC. <laughs> I would have to completely. Um, I would have to almost every time completely reinstall Windows 10 uh, because the update would pop. I would update the, the thing, hoping it would fix some of the other bugs and issues and stuff I was having. And would update, and then all of a sudden my PC wouldn't boot up. <laughs> it was almost, almost every time Windows 10 updated. And I, and I would have to completely fresh install Windows 10 entirely, so I had like all my stuff backed up on an external drive. Um, all the stuff I didn't want to lose. And most of the time, it doesn't even ask your permission to, or at least it didn't um, then. Um, it didn't really ask your permission to update, it would just update, and sometimes it would just shut down your PC right in the middle of whatever you're doing. I don't know, maybe it's just my PC was doing that too. Windows 10 was not happy. But yeah, it was the worst. <laughs> It's like, why is this happening? Four of those. I'm actually going to type in hub, because we do need something else. So well from that category. So, four of those. And two of those. So we did buy brand new brake pads. Okay, those are both broken. Drive axles. Oh, also, something else you can't fix. The tie rods. Two of each of those, please. And those are understandable. Those are not fixable. One's a solid rod with, um, 
with a like a connector piece on one end and a, <laughs> and a screw on the other end. It's just a solid rod, basically. And then the uh, outer tie rod is a ball joint. And if it wears out or the boot rips and stuff, all the grease is gone and then it wears down prematurely and there's just no fixing it. And it's just cheaper just to buy new. Rail brakes. Too bad you can't buy, like, ceramic brake pads. That'd be a cool upgrade. Maybe three of those. Three calipers, please. Oh, and two more of those brake drum cylinders. Just type in BRA. And the wheel is ready to go on that side. Go to this side. That in there, that in there. Look at the speed. It's like I miss my I miss my mouse's character, but look at the speed. We're just blasting through this. Now to the front suspension. We were not able to repair that. That was too far gone. Must have been like cracked or broken or something. Um, on a lot of cars, this uh, this is actually an actual piece now. It's not just part of the car's frame. It's a zone. And it's uh, aluminum. <laughs> so if you get into a car accident and it, it's either near the front end or with the front end, more likely this piece is going to be either cracked, broken... Uh, because uh, aluminum doesn't really bend. I mean, it can bend uh, if it's strong enough, but more more times than not, it's going to crack instead. At least from what I've seen. Of those. Get a new steering rack as well. Uh, this is another thing you can't repair, which is the front sway bar. Which does make sense. This, the front sway bar is... I believe it's like a spring metal or something like that. So if it gets bent, um, there's no really no fixing it. <laughs> okay. Oh, all of these are repaired. Good, good, good. Nope, need two of those. We were missing one. The other one's just um, been out of shape. That we'll do the we'll do the tie rods since we do have those. Okay, then we'll leave the rest until we get the, uh, the McPherson struts or the strut towers, whatever you want to call them. Bottom suspension arm or lower suspension arm, whatever. Same damn difference. Okay. So now we need... Uh, we're just going to put in SHO. That'll get us two of these. And two of these. And then SPR. Front springs, because we're working on the front end. Okay. Okay. And then we got to go over here to the spring compressor. Join the parts. because you can't repair this, which makes sense. More the often than not, um, these don't come in separate pieces. This, this, and this is all... I mean, it is. It can come apart, but when you buy it, brand new, from the part shop or, or whatever, or even the mechanic shop that does buy it from a parts, parts dealer, it's all going to be just one piece, and they just install it. There is no... It's just because, um, I don't know... Uh, couldn't tell you the exact number, but I do know a huge number of mechanics have lost their lives <laughs> with spring with car springs. More more often than not, it was a fault of the mechanic, either not knowing what they were doing or doing uh, doing it in a way they weren't supposed to. Uh, 
not doing something properly, and it ends up killing him, <laughs> or dead, or putting him in the ho in the hospital at the very least. Just because the springs uh, on these struts and stuff like that, the spring pressure that they're because um, uh, there's a little nut up here, and this piece and this piece are actually being pushed apart. The cap and the strut are actually being pushed apart by the spring. Constantly. Even if there's no weight on the car. Even if it, when it's up in the air like that, there's still pressure there. And if you take that apart incorrectly, and that spring comes at you, it comes at you with a, such a force uh, that it can kill you. Or, at the, like I said, at the very least, put you in the hospital. I, I've talked about it before, but... You know, there's always there. There's been a lot of new people lately that have come to the channel over the last week. I don't mind explaining things more than once. It's fine. I actually quite enjoy telling people about um, cars and things like that. Now, I may not know everything. Not every. Not. I don't think any mechanic knows everything. Um, they can know a lot. I don't think they know everything about everything. I think most mechanics um, have a library of books. I guess we're scholars for maybe for cars. <laughs> uh, we just have a. Um, now me, I don't keep a library because I don't. You know, I don't uh, professionally the mechanics field. But uh, yeah. Most people that do they either have an electronic database on the computer, or they have um, a, a library, um, like an actual physical physical book library. I know that's that's ludicrous in this day and age <laughs> with the uh, computers everywhere. But yeah, pretty cool. Uh, you see the giant library of books. Um, and they're all like car repair manuals um, for specific cars, by the way. The very specifics on the car you're working on. Most of it's just like torque specs and and certain procedures that most mechanics are not going to know off the top of their head unless they do it for unless they work on those specific cars for a living. Um. Yeah, we want to go to the tune-up shop. We need two of these. Two of these. Two of these. Oh, so it uses V8 pipes to hook up the motor. Nice. Okay, we won't hook up these front sections yet. Yeah, we won't have those front sections yet, but we can put the rest of these in. Uh, look at the shiny chrome exhaust. Ooh, shiny. Okay, there's that. Now let's go into inventory. And let's go over to the tires. And yeah, we weren't able to repair the tire. Looks like just completely broken rim. One, two, oop. Oh. Sorry, I was hitting X. Whoops. Uh, in the inventory hit space. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. But we're going to put some uh, uh, racing tires on there because we are going to be upgrading the engine, transmission, and all that. It's going to need actual racing tires, and we might make them a little bit wider. Two forty-five is it's pretty wide, but I would like to see um, at least like two sixties on here. 255s, 255s, 260s. Okay. So then we go into here, over to the rim shop. So 19 inch. Let's put 20s on. I don't like 19. 19 is an odd number. Let's put 20s. Yeah, 20 inch rims. That have really put the uh, uh, the race in this thing. Okay, 
about the rims, now the tires. Tire shop, we're going to go with racing tires. Um, I don't think we should have lettering. We'll go with uh, just the standard race tire. Okay, so we need two. Um, I'm gonna try. I'm just gonna buy one, but we're gonna do two. We're gonna do two fifty-five. Uh, two fifty-five forty. That seems pretty high. We'll, we'll do it. Two fifty-five forty. Buy. You see how expensive that rim is. Yeah, I thought the 40s were a bit, a bit tall. All right, uh, take. We're still gonna balance it, and we're gonna put it on the car and see what it looks like. Because we don't want to go too far past the fenders. It's like that's pushing it, but looks like 255 is the, the thing. What if we go for like 22s? We can always sell the parts back. Um, Alright, rim shop. Of course, we could always put different rims on here too if we find a rim we might like. Now, it might look good with these. Um, these rims might, might look pretty good. I've actually seen these on the the 370Zs and 350Cs. Actually pretty nice rims. Yeah, 370Z, this is a very specific rim. Go with these. We'll go with four. And we'll go with uh or no we'll go we'll go with one. And let's go with twenty Twenty-four inch rims. So that's two feet. That's a two foot wide rim. Right. <laughs> two foot in diameter, essentially. Okay. Uh, we're gonna separate these as well. Tire shop race tire. Forty-five. Uh, two fifty-five. Yeah, we'll do two. Two forty-five. Two forty-five. Um, in twenties or twenty-inch profile or twenty-inch, uh, twenty profile. That might be the one. I'll buy one of them. There we go. <laughs> Damn! That's a very thin profile. Also, the rim doesn't fit. I just noticed that the rim does not fit. Alright, we're gonna separate this. Thirties. Install. Two forty-five thirty. Yeah, two forty-five thirties looks pretty good. 
Is the rim going to fit now? No, the rim is not fitting this. What's going on there? What's wrong with that rim? Yeah, you can tell it's not fitting the rim. Unless the rim is like that. Hold on. Oh, the rim is black on the outer edge. Okay. That's why it looks like that. Alright. So 245.30. Three more of those, please. And then we got the money to waste, really. Race tire. Three more of those. 24 inch. 245.30s. Now we gotta be careful. 245.30. Alright, balance. this. Okay, we're good. We'll go ahead and put these on the car now. Yeah, now you can actually tell that the rim does go to the edge of the tire. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Damn! Damn, boy! <laughs> Some tall rims! Maybe 24 is a bit overdone it. I was thinking 22s, but then I was just like, yeah, we can go straight two foot. Essentially. Let's <sighs> just do it. Those rims are massive. Like, it, it, it's like halfway between Street Racer and Lowrider. <laughs> this is damn, boy. Right. Okay. Where are my interior parts? Are they just stupid? I, wanna add it, I wanted to add those to my list. So I can buy them. Oh, they're there. Alright, we're gonna put the same the same uh interior back in. Okay. And then the interior assemble. Normal mode, car status, interior and frame are both 100%. Good, good, good. Okay. Right, back to the main shot, or uh, body tuning. Oh, uh, the 370Z doesn't have... Oh, that's sad. That is sad. Uh, let's just type it in. So, oh, wrong place.
Oh, they do have three. No, they have the 350Z. And we've got the 370Z. Dang it. That's why it doesn't show up here. Use it, it, the. I like this game, the way they worked out the body stuff. Was they put the, uh, the car at the top left, the one you were working on. So we just have to go with normal. Um, we can't repair any of the windows. So we're just, or the lights, we're just gonna buy all those. There was no, um, there was no rear bumper. Alright, car status. Hopefully we managed to repair that one. Alright, no hood. This car is a few different colors. <laughs> For some reason, it had green fenders. Maybe got into an accident, and they found a bumper, or the the bumper was fine, and the fenders got screwed up. Or we're missing, we're missing driver door. Oh, uh, yeah, and we'd be missing the mirror too. Uh, left mirror. Oh yeah, we're missing the trunk as well, uh, which is engine cover, oh, there's the trunk. Wait, how did we buy one taillight but not the other? Don't understand how I did that. Yeah, whatever. Look at this. Starting to look good. Oh, we're missing bolt doors, so bolt doors both mirrors. I like how it says front right door, and it should just be right door because there's only one door. Uh, this car doesn't even have a back seat. Oh, there was, how was there one on there without a door? What? Or did I buy one already? I might have bought one already. Okay. Our set should be in the 90, okay. It's like, either I put something back on that wasn't fully repaired, or I just need these. Um, sorry, I was thinking of something else. I got lost in my own thoughts there. <laughs> Alright. What should we get for the rim? Uh, or for, um, license plates. What about what we've been saying? I don't know how to spell with letters. Or it's... <laughs> I don't I know. How to, I don't know how to English either. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know how to spell with numbers. Uh, B zero. Uh, no. Let's let's leave a space. Uh, eight zero uh, 
Uh, how about that? Damn, boy. <laughs> Why not? We're seven years old. We like to spell with, um, we like to, uh, spell with numbers and letters. <laughs> okay. Uh, our status. So, yeah. Good luck to it. Uh, let's see. I wonder if I can put a spoiler on this. I think I know the spoiler, but I don't know if it's available in this game. But I know a good spoiler that would work. Not body tuning, it's going to be add-ons. I need to get some add-ons. Uh, this one right here. Alright, so the way you do that, you go over to interior and additional parts. Symbol. Oh. Oh. So something can go on the hood, but that's it. Okay, what can what can go on the hood? Ooh, air scoop. Alright. You know? Alright. Not exactly. Jar. <laughs> you can only... There's only one spot. Oh, that's so annoying. We should have been able to put a spoiler on there, I think. Oh well. Those, li those rims do look a little bit big for the car. <laughs> yeah, they do look a little bit big. Eh, it is what it is. It's a lowrider now. Too bad I couldn't adjust the suspension height and uh, adjust like suspension options where I could like tilt the wheels out. And Just camber caster and tow. That'd be really cool, actually. You can adjust tow in the game, but only when aligning, really. That's all. That's the only thing the alignment does. All right. So that should be weight bodies at 95%. All right. Are we missing a body part? We have to be, right? What did I miss? I don't think I missed anything. What? Maybe I accidentally put this in? Still at ninety five percent. What am I missing, or what did I put in? Uh, no mode. Let's just take apart this and this, sure. Brand new door, brand new window, brand new mirror. Brand new mirror or brand new window. But that wasn't it. Brand new door. Brand new window. Brand new window. Brand new 
window. Any mirror? Oh, still at ninety five percent. There was no Oh, wasn't there a... there was a part I was confused by. Oh, that's a... nope. Engine cover. My part. Oh! That's not an engine cover, by the way. This is a brace. <laughs> It's not an engine cover. <laughs> an engine cover, this would be the engine cover. This like little in, inner plastic bit, which you would take apart. Whatever. Okay. All right, so all that's left then is the engine itself. Wait, does this have any engine swap options? I doubt it, but you can always check. I go into the car information screen over to engine. Nope. It'll say swap options and it'll say it down here. Um, but yeah. No swap options, so we just have to go with whatever engines this whatever kind of V6 this is, which I have no clue. It's like missing most of it, so this will be an easy or this should be a mostly quick removal process. These chains. Take off these ball and chain. Get rid of the gears. Okay, now we can remove. Oh, there's a fuel rail stuck up here. Just one though. Alrighty. Can I not? See, I don't know how to take this engine apart. Do we take this off first? So, um, cover. so many actual bolts, or there's so many not actual bolts. There's one in the rust here somewhere, I'm sure of it. Just missing. Let's see. This is what you do in a real mechanic situation when you didn't know um, all the bolts and stuff. You just kind of look around and be like, okay, it's stuck on. Uh, me, with this type of cover, uh, I just kind of give it a tug try to pull it away from the engine, but just a light tug, just to kind of slightly move it so I could try and locate the bolt, which is right there, right in the center. <laughs> yeah, dude, it would just be a light tug, it wouldn't be anything serious. So you have to remove that to remove this. Interesting. And then both cams, intake cam and exhaust cam. Cams. Very good. This must be part of the head. Yeah, that's that's part of the head, I believe. Right, and then intake. This is a high rise intake. A little bit of a high rise intake. Or maybe that's just standard for this card. I mean, it is. Okay. Oh, we don't want to do that just yet. We want to remove the both heads. Interesting. So it's got like a. I'm guessing that's a coolant channel to kind of pull it around the pistons, or around the pistons around the cylinder walls. Interesting. I think I've taken this engine apart, or this type of engine apart, only once in this game. Never in real life. So, you know, I get to learn some new stuff too, somewhat. 
Wow, no caps whatsoever. Look at that, not a single cap. Single uh, piston rod cap, and not a single uh, crankshaft cap. I'm surprised that crankshaft didn't fall out of the bottom of the block. What are we missing? Okay, there's got to be something here. Just testing the waters. I can't remove the crank for some reason. Yeah, it looks like the, this bit comes apart, but it also doesn't. Uh, well, maybe this bit. Not, not that bit either. Hmm. We gotta be missing something. Oh, there's. Wait. How did I miss a piston? Am I just that dumb? Am I that dumb? Whoops. <laughs> uh. People are probably yelling at me. Oop, there goes that fuel rail. People were probably yelling at me like, There's a piston still in the engine, you dipshit. This how you do mechanics in real life? <laughs> it's like, of course not, but... Oh, damn it, that was a good spot. Okay, good. We did get it. Oop, right there goes the crank. You know, cranks in real life are easy, that easy to mess up. Uh, if you're ever cleaning a crank by hand without a, you know, without a, a, a precision machine, and you're trying to smooth out the crank journals and stuff, oh man, if you, if you smooth out the crank journals and you put a flat spot in it or some grooves, you've done screwed it, the whole thing. Uh, and have to send it off to, so that somebody could like, weld that up regrind it back down to fix it. And even that's not, you know, 100%. I don't think there's going to be a block. I don't think they sell blocks on here, but we can always check. Okay, nope. I'll check the crankshaft as well. Okay, nope. We did break the crankshaft, so... Right one. Okay, and then pistons. Um, Turn up shot. PIS. Is it right? Are they just regular pistons? Let's see. Engine parts. Yep, they're just regular pistons. Six of them. And then. Again, we're going to type in PIS, six piston rings, six, I'm going to go cap, um, I don't know if it's these, those are all camshaft, 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 cam, 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 yeah, okay, so it's just either, there's three of those, and then six of those. Actually, I think there was one and we managed to repair it. Oh well. Some performance pistons in. Could be too bad. Yeah. This thing's gonna be a beast. And it's not gonna have any traction. <laughs> Those rooms. Oh my. Those, those rims were a bit big. I, I went a little bit crazy. Oh well. Somebody will buy it, I'm sure. We can't put the... Normally you can put the oil pan on. Oh, do you have to put that front cover on there? Probably. Okay. Uh, one of 
is back to the turn up shop. Flywheel. And then you can always check for clutch stuff. C L U. One of those and one of those. Now back to the normal part shop. C L U. Because you can't repair the ra the, the bearing, yeah, which actually does make sense. We're gonna put that on. Put that on. Put that on. Power strength pump. There it is. Nice. And now we're going to rotate. Okay. And they were different. So I'm glad I hit X on each of them. Oh, hold it in, of course. Oh, these look fancy. And I can stay red for very long. This oil usually runs in here. I'm gonna put this on there. I like how it's just out on a stalk. That's gonna hold it. So bang. 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 Right. Intake manifold. There was one. Good. Rocker arm B, exhaust manifold A. We need two of those. Okay. Uh, well. So none of those. Oh, they do have camshaft A. Eh? And camshaft B. But no rocker arms. Shot. Right, intake. Shiny intake. Very shiny. That's in both there. <laughs> tubular exhaust. Very tubular. Tubular dude. So tubular. Okay, so we did have to um, replace those. I like how one's going to be chrome, one's not. So weird. Oh, whatever. Okay. Um, I don't think these are also one of those, though. Spark plugs. And I believe I saw ignition coils on this one. So. Okay. Alright, so we need both of those. They both were broken. Um. nice to have just one big one of those and not have like several little ones like certain engines yeah it's beautiful okay so we're gonna check these and I know we don't have any so uh, we do need two fuel rails but no rocker arms okay I don't think we had, oop, I don't think we had either of these. That. 
that. Oh. I got to count eight. Yeah. This car hasn't had a, a, a fully together engine in a while. <laughs> we got it. It's missing like half of it at least. Hopefully my shitty commentary is good enough for you guys. <laughs> uh, I just don't know what to say. Only that I own my opinion. Oh, yeah. Fuel rail. Yeah, let's see what we got here. We got a shop. Oh, we already got this. So I did get the intake manifold. And I'll check that time up over. Okay, good. It managed to repair the timing cover. Jeez. Right, I'm gonna put these covers on too, so we don't get dirt in this. Injectors in as well. Injectors out. <laughs> Ignition coils. There we go. Put the intake is on as well. Throttle bodies. Uh, of course, that cover. And then the filter in the back. Oh, and then the Nissan cover. I have the Nissan cover as well. Variable valve electronic something. I don't know. I'm just taking a guess at that one. I know VVT is variable valve timing. I don't know if VVEL is the same thing. Electronic lag. No idea. Um, alternate. Regular standard old box alternator that's chrome. Could have a chrome alternator. Uh, we'll check all of these parts. Okay. Yeah, from this point on, we don't have the parts. So. I don't think, anyway. Because these parts, I know the timing parts were not comparable. I don't think they are on any engine in this game. Alright, and then 
chain, chain, two tiny chains. big long timing chain that times the whole entire thing so these two time that the the can gear and I guess the rocker one of the, the rocker arms times them together on this side and this side and then this one times um, both cam gear since they're timed together and then times everything together including spinning the water pump quite an insane setup Not want to work on this engine personally myself. Okay, that's time and cover. And we already know we're not going to have these parts, so we're just going to um, start buying new ones. Twenty volts. Okay. Oh, now we can put the. Uh, uh, oil, uh, the oil pan on. Oop! Of course I did. Alrighty. Oil pan. Okay, now we'll go ahead and rotate it again. Oh, we need an oil filter. Bang, 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 and bang. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. We'll check with everything here. Also, we get another oil pan. Okay. Back to normal here. Filter, time cover C, time cover B, idler roller B, idler roller A, three of those, and cash out fully. Or harmonic balancer, whichever you want to call it. Ascension cheese. Like I said, would not want to work on this this engine. At least not by myself. I don't think I can trust myself with the this type. It's probably super easy and whatnot, but just the old V8s and stuff. The old engines. In this case, we are replacing the belt tensioner because it didn't have it. Oh, beautiful. I think that's all of it, actually. Really? Yeah. Beautiful. Alright. Take engine off stand, just put it in my pocket. Oh, we put the engine thingy back. Oops. We need that. <laughs> Beautiful. And right, now we're gonna go back up real quick. <laughs> Giant. Uh, I think the rims are too big for the brakes. Right, part mount. Get the exhaust in there, sure. We do want one of these. We might have fixed the gearbox, but I want a custom one. Add a little bit of performance. Three grand. Sheesh. I mean, that's about standard price for any transmission, really. Oh, we, we got it all. We do need a starter, I think. And they don't have starters in the body tuning shop, I didn't think. Nope. They should have racing starters. Really. 
racing starters, those starters, they spin up the engine incredibly fast. <laughs> it's a lot more than a normal starter, and they don't last anywhere near as long. <laughs> but um, the performance starters, anyway. Nope. That's in the electronics, I forgot. Add that to the list of shit I forget every day. And then drive shaft, of course. That's not electronic. Electronic drive shaft, it's... It's wireless. <laughs> wireless drive shaft, could you imagine? Ugh. That would... that shit would blow my mind. <laughs> As a mechanic, I'd be like, no, that's witchcraft. Get it out of here. <laughs> Burn the car. <laughs> car is doing some hoodoo hoodoo shit. Alright, now a lot of this we didn't even have. Uh, did we manage to? Oh. Should I even ask? <laughs> base. And we did buy a brand new. Performance air filter. Oh, we did manage to repair that. We didn't have the clip, so. Okay. One clip. Two clip. Ah, ah, ah. Three clip. Ah, ah, ah. Four clip. Ah, ah, ah. And then my whole garage explodes. Woo. I think the radiator was toast. And it looks like toast, so that's a great game. Or did they have? Oh. Uh, let's try to put in the radiator. No, our radiator was not toast. Okay, I'm glad I didn't buy one. I don't think it had a medium in it, really. Nope, I'm not in the shop. Wait, they have those in the tune-up shop? They do, that's right, they do. Oh, we can't put it on from up here. That's fine. I don't think they don't have a performance battery, right? D that would make no sense. I mean, in all honesty and mechanics, yeah, a uh, performance battery would make some sense to me. Oh, my, oh, we're in the main shop. Electronics. Um. Oh, um. What is it called? ABS. Anti lock brake system. One of those and one of those. As well. Battery. Brand new one of these. And brand new one of these. Installing an ABS system and the car either doesn't didn't have one before or it's missing its ABS system is a pain in the ass. I would not want to be the person doing that. So, single fan. That should be an electronics. Or is it? I don't think it is. Yeah, this should be an electronics because this this is an electronic motor fan. So, just saying. Reservoir, toilet reservoir, brick servo, or brick booster, whichever. Back over to the electronics. I didn't have an ECU, so. Now we might have repaired the fuse box. Let's check. Okay, we did manage to repair that. on that. There we are, that, that, that. Okay, we need to go up one more time. Need to 
go to the undercarriage. <laughs> Make it sound so dirty. Put you in an inner cooler. I don't know why this has an inner cooler. Uh, maybe the engine needs it for some reason. There's no turbos or anything special. That would cause excessive heat, so I don't know why it has one, but hey. cars are cars. They do what they will. Alright. Should be everything here, we just need the fuses now. And we can't repair fuses, so bang, 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 bang. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, do they have a, yeah, fuse box cover A. So, one of those. Three of those. Two of those. One of those. Two of those. And what did it say? Three of those? Five of those. Okay. So much faster when you have a mouse that actually functions properly. Speed. Hey, car status. What are we at? Ninety-five percent body. Oh, that's right. We got to put that. that um, thing. One hundred percent. We did it. <laughs> All right. One hundred percent at the car. Um, you can close the hood now. We also uh, should be like 99% because of fluids. We do gotta fill the car up with fluids. Sorry, my brain is scattered. Which is funny because when I work, when I actually. Now, this is a funny thing, right? When I play this game, which is a car mechanic game, me being a car mechanic and playing a car mechanic game, uh, my brain's all over the place. It's always thinking about a million things at once. But when I'm actually working on a. When I'm actually working on a car, I think I have a lot more focus. I mean, I still forget stuff here and there, but most of the time it's like inconsequential stuff or stuff that would, you know, stuff that would cause much harm, if any. Uh, if I forgot it, um, I don't tend to forget the major, major stuff. Well, I don't think I have. Um, and any stuff that was major that did happen to me, um, that's one of those. Uh, you make the mistake once, and that's it. Wait, isn't this the oil thing? Oh, do we have to take off the cover? Or do we fill it in here? No? No, that's coolant anyway. Um... I think we have to take off the cover. Interesting. Yeah, you have to take off the cover. That makes sense, actually. But I would have just put a bendy funnel in there. A funnel that can bend. These are engine covers. This is a cross brace. This is not an engine cover. <laughs> okay. One car. Test path. Let's get it aligned. Look at that. See, this is this is setting toe, by the way. Um, toe is whichever way the tires are pointing. So actually, if you were to set it like this, by the way,
This is called dog tracking. If you, uh, dog tracking, I believe it comes from a dog, obviously. Whenever you see a dog run, and it kind of runs at a sideways stance, but it's still running at you, but it's its body's kind of slightly sideways, even though it's still running straight at you. Um, that's what dog tracking, I, I believe it is. I believe that comes from that. That's my own interpretation of it. So this would be dog tracking too. If your wheels were pointing straight, this car could be going at this angle, but going straight. <laughs> yeah, this is setting toe only, not camber or caster, which is stuff you also adjust in alignment. I mean, toe is the big one, but toe is one of the big ones, but uh, camber and caster also play a part. Job. We need something that matches the giant rims. <laughs> uh, the low rider rims. Um, we could do a red. We could do a black. Um, a black would look nice. What kind of. Oh, there is no livery sets. Okay. Um, we could do a chrome. <laughs> um, let's do it. Let's do a straight gloss. to a green, like a dark green. It's not going to go with the, um, and actually we want metallic, or, yeah, we want a metallic. And about there. Ninety saturation. Raise your hand if you know, um, but I guess that was a 350Z and this is a 370Z, but, um, like, raise your hand if you know this color, uh, this color color. It's like a dark green. It needs a bit of purple down the sides, so that'll give you a hint. But, oh, I didn't paint it. I didn't actually paint it. Whoops. Hold on. I'll do that again. So... That's easy. So 101, about 90, and then 20, I think. Yeah. Oh, and metallic. Actually, metallic. So about a 40. What color rims did that car have? I can't remember. There we go. <laughs> With the red is a bit like Christmas. And the gold as well. Good car. Purple J. Alright, let's check out how much this car's worth. Uh, car status. $125,000 profit. So, parts value, 48000 Body value, 14000 Performance parts... Value thirty nine thousand six six sets. Get that out of here. Uh, condition bonus thirty one thousand because it's all brand new. Buying price or we bought the car for eighty six hundred dollars. We're selling it for one hundred and thirty four. That's a hell of a sale right there. So one hundred and thirty four thousand, and then um, sell all parts. 131, 3, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 6. I would say $137,000 profit there. Because it's like $5,000 of parts because we spent some money. So yeah, inventory's completely empty. Alright, uh, that took us almost two hours just for that one car. Oof, apologies for that. <laughs> I didn't realize it took that long uh, to rebuild an entire car from scratch, though. Just about from scratch. Uh, all brand new parts to make it look like it just walked off the showroom floor. 
two hours is a world record, I would say. <laughs> Not in the game, I meant like a real life scenario. All right, cool. Um, now we're going to go back to the wheel. What does the wheel have in store for us? And like I say, um, if we get if we get junkyard again, um, we just reroll. So if we get something twice in a row, we reroll that second or we reroll that second time. Okay. Again. Warning headphones. Um, still going. Good. Okay. Three, two, one, spit. Hmm. What are we going to get? Okay. We got to spin again. So, because we got junk here a second time. Giving us junkyards today. Three, two, one, spin. What are we gonna get? Come on. Job number three. Okay. Let's go ahead and hide the wheel. All right. Job number three. Take over to the phone. Job number three. Take it. We have to take it no matter what it is, so. Looks like we have a BMW. Uh, BMW 5 Series E34, so an old one. 1992. Okay. I wish I could read, like, um, I think, um... I think you could, it should give you a little bit of a, uh, like a little bit of customer complaints, like, like rather than saying like a first person basis where you're talking with the customer, maybe, um, maybe, uh, when you take a, a random job, you just get notes like customer complaints. And then it, it lists, um, like a few different ones, like engine noise, uh, brake noise, car steering, car steering is wonky, you know? Um, cars making cars louder than usual uh, sounds way louder than usual all of a sudden um, you know things like that or um, car wasn't an accident if it was body damage you know car was in an accident or, or um, what not things like that like little things just you know little 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 tidbits little sprinkles little sprinkles in info so that you can kind of get an idea where to start from. It's a V8 dual overhead cam engine. Holy shit. <laughs> that engine's way too new, I think, for this car. Okay. Like, these are little tidbits, but they're they're not like the tidbits like the actual story. So we got tapping sounds from the engine bay, so that could be either... Uh, that could be either timing or... Um, pistons or uh, timing or like cr uh, coming from the crank so the crank cam either from the valves or from the pistons you know loose bearing or worn out bearings things like that uh, water pump pulley so it gives us a place to start at least uh, replace timing related parts so that's probably the projection the engine is working but it's choppy so that's probably timing related as well uh, suspension rattling, so we got some suspension making noise. Fix any running gear problems with the suspension. Cars hard to control, suspension, brake performance, and other tasks. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to see where to start. Well, brake performance, that would probably cause it. Let's go to the scanner. See what we get. Uh, see if we can get anything else out of the electronics of this car. Very low on coolant, I'm noticing. Um, so, engine probably overheated at some point. Uh, ABS module is screwed, so the car's not even going to start. Um, despite the ignition coils being bad. But yeah, engine's not even going to... It's not even going to try and start. Like, we can, we can try, but I doubt it. 
Oh, no, it's gonna let us. Okay. That's probably not gonna start up fully, but the engine is working, but it's choppy. I doubt that the engine works. Camshafts. Okay, so that's timing related. We already kind of knew that. Or did we already kind of deduce that, but that helps. Alright, anything else electronically wrong with the car? Tried. This is just for experience, by the way, and it only takes a few seconds, so it's not like it's a big deal. But if we can test for everything, I will be testing for everything. How's our feet pressure? Got one fuel rail that's bad, a fuel pump that's bad, and a fuel filter that's clogged. Okay, or fuel pump that's not delivering the fuel pressure we need. All right, so I've got quite a few things wrong with it. Okay, now that we do deduce that we can work on this car, and we will be working on this car. Let's take it over to the car wash. We just gotta wash the customer's car. I don't think that changed anything. I think you just had it washed, but... If they do question us, like, did you wash the car, we can tell them, yes, yes we did. So does that hood look dented, or is that shaped like that? Like, it looks dented right here in the middle. Okay, let's move it to... Oh, wait. Um, let's move it to the test pad to see if we're able to test it. I doubt it, but we'll see. Yeah, the engine can never start, I figured. Had to try. Looks like we're doing the old inspection mode. Which we can only do from here. But we can do this. Look at us go. We're getting all, look at all that experience just racking up. Even though we don't need to do this, we can do it anyway. That coverage pretty bad. Now we're doing suspension. Just by standing here. This is how good of a mechanic we are. You can tell what's wrong with it just by standing here and looking at it. Just going, yep, yep, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Oh, that part's bad, that's good, that's good, that's good. <laughs> Could you imagine being that good of a mechanic? I mean, I guess technically you could be. What do you visually expect? No. 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 Transmission? No. Do that. Exhausts? Uh, this is what's fun here. Oh, can't do that. Okay. Anything else we can visually inspect? I wish I was this good of a mechanic, I could just like see through the car <laughs> be able to tell you. Okay, cool. We know what uh, we know what needs done. Um, this one was camshaft and timing, so uh, first first of all uh, let's get out of our let's get out of drain tool. I mean, they're about out of liquid anyway. For that. Complimentary drain and refill service. 
We're doing it from like back here. We're doing it from the driver's seat. Ridiculous. Like, yeah, they didn't have much anyway. Okay. And we're gonna do an all change on this car since we need to possibly dig into the engine a little bit. we need to work on the timing. We have to drain the oil. I don't know if you need to do that in this game. Uh, well, you're just going that deep, but... So that. This was also bad here. Possibly air filter as well. So uh, we know ignition coils, so it's probably spark plugs as well. We'll take those out. We need to remove these anyway. Remove those fuel rails. Um, also exhaust manifolds. They look pretty nasty. Out of, that was also causing rattling. So the engine choppy is probably ignition, also timing, also affect it. This cover off, take both covers off. So we need to get to the cam gears or the cams. That one rusty bolt. That was weird. That's another one actually. are all looking pretty bad shape, so I'm going to remove them anyway. Oh, got to remove uh, this tensioner first. And that looked bad anyway. Also, this looks a really bad shape. Take that off. Give it a clean. Since we're here anyway, Now, timing cover. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Oh, look at that. Both timing belts. How the game gears look? Probably good shape. Am out. Take these out. Hopefully that's as far as we need to go. Uh, we could we could take a peek. Let's take a peek at the pistons. Yeah, if I was this deep and I just needed to take out a few bolts to remove the head, I would. Um, if it's a newer engine, that head gasket should be fine. I don't know, I guess that depends. On the older engines, you wouldn't. Um, because you just ruined the head gaskets. <laughs> You'd have to put brand new ones on. Remember, remove the heads. Right, that actually looks okay. I'm going to take this off, give it a clean. Um, I don't think you can fix those. 
Okay. So that's most of the engine. I've actually torn an engine down to this stage. Um, pretty much, except for the timing. The timing is, uh, it was only, the timing was only a cam gear, a crank gear, and a timing chain, a timing cover. Um, it was only four parts, but yeah. Other than the timing itself, I had torn apart this and this. Um, like torn the engine down because we had uh, coolant leaking into this cylinder right here and a little bit into this one. And I believe there's coolant leaking into this one as well, but just a little bit. Yep, just a fail, failed head gasket because they would pull out the... Every time they wanted to start the vehicle, they'd, they'd pull out number eight spark plug or number seven spark plug. They'd pull it out back here. Um, and then it would be, uh, it, it would piss out coolant. <laughs> and then once it was done, they would uh, kind of tap the engine over just a few times and then put the spark plug back in and it would start up. <laughs> it was pretty bad. <sighs> it was uh, hilarious, though. It was hilarious. Okay. Um, let's see what we can repair first before we go too much further. Yeah, we'll just kind of clean everything up. I would actually do this as well. Like, if I was digging down into an engine like this, um, and I did it before as, as well when I tore apart that engine, there were some parts that they didn't need cleaning, um, uh, per se. They were doing really neat cleaning or fixing, but um, I did clean them up a little bit. Just so it didn't look too terrible. I'll put it back together. Okay, we do not want to break these heads. See, we're not damaged. Alright, cool. start putting her back together. Yeah, we cleaned that up good. Maybe we threw it in like an acid bath or something. <laughs> it's pretty nice. string pump. Like it was uh, in pretty bad shape. Okay. And this. And we'll put the, the intake back on there. Okay. We were able to fix one, but we need one. just too bad a shape. So we saved them a little bit of money by not having to buy a brand new part. The belts we will have to replace though. I have seen a tiny belt where it was um, uh, where it was uh, completely cracked all the way through. It was about ready to freaking snap. It was uh, It was bad. <laughs> Like, if that would have snapped while the engine was running, that whole engine would have been screwed. Because then the pistons wouldn't be, or the, uh, or one of, a few of the valves would probably hang open a little too far, and because they weren't, you know, being pushed open or closed, or pushed open or let, allowed to close anymore. And, you know, a piston would come up and hit, hit one of the valves. <laughs> Lost everything apart. Not want to be in that situation. We didn't have to do spark plugs. I should have done them anyway, but we are going to do ignition coils. Uh, one 
of them. And we can get one of them. So the fuel filter. Uh, electronics, ABS module. Seven hundred dollar part right there. And then that. Managed to repair that up a bit. Put this back on. Water pump's good. Guess we just put like a new um, impeller on it or something. Oh, that's not electronic. Water pump pulley. One, two, three, four, five. And two. Because I don't know exactly where those were. Many pulleys. Why is this thing gotta have a many a million idler rollers? covers that we cleaned up. Very, very nice. Okay, so yeah, ignition coils. Some electronics. And since like two of them are bad, we're gonna go ahead. Oop, not that many. Uh, we're just gonna replace them all because the other ones probably weren't far behind. I know the percentage says different in the game, but that's not how real life works. <laughs> With those. In real life, uh, if you had a few bad ignition coils, more likely the rest of the ignition coils are not far behind. And then you'll you'll replace the ignition coils that are bad, and then you'll you'll be driving down the road a few weeks later, and then another ignition coil will go bad, and another one, and another one, and they can leave you stranded, and a bad deal all the way around. Yeah, I guess we probably just replace some seals or uh, put some new injectors on there. Who knows? Right, our status. Oh wow, we fixed a lot. Fuel pump, air filter cover. Oh yes. Air filter was fine. Air filter cover was not. That's not electronic. Of course it's not. We did manage to clean up all the clips though. Nice. Like wire brushed them, give them a little shine, a little polish. Alright, that fixed that one. Alright, and then fuel pump. Suspension we didn't do yet. Uh, brakes. And. Oh, we need to cre increase the car's tuning? Fuck! I could have done that 6 to 11%. Hold on. Actually, um... Why do I have caps on that? Oh, those aren't, those aren't going to be enough. Um... I guess you're well. Wait, what? Oh, I, I N G. Oops. I G N. Uh, seventy-five percent times eight. That would be or point seventy-five percent. See here. Um, I'm pulling up a calculator. Unfortunately, this game does not have an inbuilt calculator like Satisfactory. <laughs> Wish it did. That'd be awesome. Point uh, seventy-five times eight, six. And it said six to eleven percent, right? 
So that would do it. Actually, you know what? Since we're doing that. <laughs> About seven. There we go. And these are only point thirteen, so that'll add very little. So yeah, if you have very little percentage. Ignition is a good way to go. Exhaust is pretty easy, and that can get you some good points. Uh, oh, we leveled uh, fuel filter, fuel pump, fuel rail, uh, stuff like that. Stuff that aren't that isn't super expensive. Should have, yep, that satisfied that. Alright, so now we just gotta refill all the fluids. It said refill, but some of their fluids didn't look too healthy, so. We just changed them out. Complimentary service. I mean, you're paying me like several thousand dollars at this point <laughs> for tearing into your engine and all that. Uh, like some of the. Like, it's going to be at least a couple thousand, because that one part was like 700, and then another part was like 200 and some, and, uh, and whatnot, so. Let's get a couple thousand out of this, plus suspension parts we haven't even touched yet. And then, of course, power steering. Please stop ro rotating this parasting thing where you can't see it. We can't see the level. Like, I don't know what they expected. How do they expect you to know what the level is? Uh, if you cannot see it and you can't rotate the camera. I don't know what they expected, to be honest. We did not change the filter because. They had it. That seemed like they had an oil change recently, so. Um, I'm gonna work on it. Okay. Go pump. Wait, wasn't the. Um, wasn't this thing bad? No, it was not. Okay. Something about an ECU or a fuse or something was. How's that? I don't know. I don't remember now. Alright, so we need a fuel pump. And we'll shop. Fuel pump. Now it's just suspension. Suspension and brakes, okay. Um, let's go back up to the front. Start with the brakes up here. It's like tie rods. Also gonna take off that strut because the caps look broken. Or maybe rusted all the hell and it looks like they might have been causing the rattling. Um okay. looks good. It could also be 
rubber bushings. I didn't actually inspect the rubber bushings. Uh, rubber bushings look, they do look good. Um, you'd be able to tell uh, the rubber bushings I've had in this game. They don't get rusty, but, and honestly, um, in real life, if the rubber bushings are bad on a car, like, like where they need to be replaced, they would be missing chunks of rubber, not just kind of dirty. <laughs> they would usually be missing chunks of rubber, or they'd just be missing the rubber altogether. I've seen that before. Or the rubber would be super cracked up, and like I said, missing chunks and stuff like that. Bushings look good. Spring stuff looks good. Except for that one. What happened on this left side? Jeez. Oh, gotta take the tire off first. What am I thinking? Yeah, spring on a lug bolt right there is gonna. Yeah, that's really gonna help. This bolt is all the way out, by the way. What's the bearing in here? Normally you can see it. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Um, I'll take off this side as well. Anyway, take this off. Uh, river bushings look good. A little bit worn, but they're not. Super duper worn. They just look like average, average wear to me. Okay. Let's go back to our repair shop. Oh wait, we need two separate parts. Because we gotta replace those caps. Now, let's see what we can repair. We'll do a, um, since we're doing brakes, might as well do those. Here are all the parts. Oh, we were able to pull that fuel pump back from the brink. All right. Not much we can repair, looks like. I let the brakes go too long. But I've been in that situation before on my pickup. Not long after I had it. The front brakes were wearing really badly. Like I had no brake discs left. But it was a manual transmission, so you didn't use brakes all that often anyway. But that wasn't my excuse. That was just, it's a manual transmission. So you tend to use um, downshifting to slow you down more than the brakes. And you only use brakes to slow you down from a, a, a slower speed to a stop. Or if you need to stop quickly, of course. But, uh, yeah. So you need one of them. No brake pad all the way around. Oh, yes. 
I don't know why I'm putting them on my thing. Just type in tie. Two of those. All good there. Okay. Now we need to put parts back together for that. Put together what we have though for now. the other side off. <laughs> Whoops. And of course the brakes. That looks good. Oh, I did put, wait. How we looking? Chuck absorber cap and front sway bar end link cap. So S S H O two of these. Then we can put the rest of this back together. Actually, is a common procedure, by the way. Shock absorbers, if you are doing them yourself, and uh, you just like like a couple of caps, you just reuse the rest of the parts, just replace the cap itself. Two of them. all the tasks. And there's a little bit of bonus money in there for us as well. This tire's back on and that'll be, that'll be this job of this job would be a good Come on down, you. You're all fixed up and ready to go. Back to your master. Sweet. Alright, and then inventory. Sell all the parts. Yeah, $612, not bad. $390 grand. We're sitting pretty. We already have everything. Okay. Oh, back over here. So that took us uh, oh, 40 minutes. Not bad. Not bad. At least I think it's not bad. You can think it's bad all you want. Okay. Back to the wheel. Okay. Wheels up and going. Okay. 
Um, everybody ready? Three, two, one, spit. Place your bets. What job are we going to do next? Junkyard! Back to the junkyard for us. Oof. That'll probably be the last one, I think. We'll see. Uh, depends on the car, I guess. Alrighty. I am just positively melting. I guess I'm negatively melting. I don't know. Yeah, you'd be losing mass, so that makes sense. <laughs> uh, the stupid ramblings of a small YouTuber. I'm not good at commentary on these type of games. Um, I'm really not good at commentary on these type of games. Uh, mainly because I kind of zone out, I guess. And then whatever comes out of my mouth is whatever comes out of my mouth. And I just... <laughs> It is what it is, man. I zone out like that. Still going? Okay, good. All right, what kind of cars? Take our normal route. Up, oh, there's a Renault Clio. Uh, I believe that has a V6 in it. Um, another another Golf. Uh, no, the Honda Civic. I can't even see it uh, properly because it's so damaged. Ooh. We got another Chevy Impala. Supercharged Chevy Impala. Ooh, that's a that's a good buy. Oh, that's just a. So we could probably we could make a lot of money off of this engine just because it's supercharged. Took a little bit of a pause there. Sometimes there's a car over here as well. I'm kind of in this spot. Okay. I want I want this Chevy Impala. I don't know why that's not in the game. It's 64. You guys gotta buy me more games <laughs> to play on Saturday. <laughs> Just random bullshit coming out of my mouth. Uh, it's just random thoughts. Ooh. Um, let me guess. Let me guess. Let me guess. Look. Um, this is based off of the. One second. I'm searching my memory banks. <laughs> I'm also. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to say Mitsubishi. The Mitsubishi Eclipse. I was right. 2009 as well. So it's not the, that's not the one from the movies that we're all used to. The old 98, I think it is. I think it's a 98. So Mitsubishi Eclipse, that could be fun. Uh, nothing special though. Nothing really pops out to me. Like, nothing, nothing that's like, I gotta have this car. Um, unfortunately, most of the car spots are empty. Like, even the one over here, the hidden one, is usually a car here. So, nothing there. Yeah, it looks like our choices are very limited. Um... I think I'm gonna go for the Chevy Impala, honestly. That'll make that'll make the most, I think. Uh, this one's not even. What's the engine? So the engine is oh, it is a turbocharged. It's an inline four. That could be a quick car.
So as a turbocharged inline four, we could also swap it to the inline four dual overhead cam. Well, it is turbocharged. I think we could turn it into an inline three. Uh, they're asking for five grand for this pile of crap. It's barely a car. So nothing much. Um, the Chevy Impala seems the one that pops out to me the most, to be honest. We could do a Honda Civic as well, but it's just a, it's an inline four. It's the same motor. I think it's probably also turbocharged. It's a crappy little Honda Civic. Yeah, we're gonna go for the beast. The boat, essentially. It has like no interior other than a steering wheel. Uh, uh, good news, all the rockers and most of the lifters, like uh, I think all, there's one lifter, one lifting rod in there. But it is a supercharged. This, do we have some engine swap options? Um, so this is the engine that's in it, which is a two car uh, overhead valve, supercharged, so not bad. We could go back to the original engine, but we probably want to keep the supercharger, of course. Um, and what are they asking? They're asking for 7,900 and then the upcharge of 5%, so just 7,900. I bet you we'll, we'll probably make a little over a hundred grand, uh, or at least, ooh, uh, maybe not, maybe not that much. Um, I'm going to say we'll probably make about 80,000, going to bid a little bit, a little bit of that uh, in the 80,000 range, that sounds right. Okay, let's go ahead and buy it. Yeah, not many, um, not many options in this junkyard. Um, yeah, and I'm not a fan of hatchbacks, <laughs> as you couldn't tell. Um, I'll never buy a hatchback. Oh, I keep forgetting. I turned to brush. My problem with hatchbacks, hatchbacks is, yes, they are fuel efficient, but... What's the point? <laughs> what's the point of owning a tiny car like that, other than the fuel efficiency? Like, if you're really struggling for gas and you want to put away your V8... To drive a little in line four. That sounds fair to me, especially with gas, gas prices nowadays. Um, that sounds fair to me. Pretty sure there's a lot of people that were wishing uh, they had a little hatchback in line four. But uh, once, there, or uh, if the gas prices ever go back to normal, you know, back into the two dollar range, the uh, two to three dollar range. Rather than the five to six dollar range, the seven to eight, wherever you live, nine to ten, depending. <laughs> it really does, does spend. Okay, enough about that. We're here to get away from the problems of the real world. Let's let's uh let's go wash this um this pile of rust. Is there any redeeming qualities about this car? It did come from the junkyard, so probably not. No. It's literally a pile of rust. Like, that body... Like, uh, this is uh, surface rust, by the way. Well, it, it's not all surface rust, but... Yeah, most of it is. Um, surface rust. There's also some pitting on the... There's there's some, there's a lot of pitting, I would say. Yeah, a lot of uh, rust that's been pitting into the... Eating, eating its way into the metal. So yeah, this body's probably no good. You could probably smooth it down, but it would take a lot of work. But let's detail the interior. <laughs> Not that there's much interior left. Oh, the interior looks clean. <laughs> Holy shit. The carpets, that's the redeeming quality. The carpets and the seat belts and the gauges. Uh, the gauge cluster. Alright, let's go to the paint shop. The paint shop's like, get this fucking 
pile of crap out of here. I ain't painting that. Oh, we had to put it on the lift because it's missing wheels. It's missing all the wheels but one. It's like the, um, the Nismo that we had. Okay. Let's start out. I guess we'll start out with the interior. Disassemble. <laughs> Wasn't much interior left. Oh my gosh, there's a trunk. Back window, no tail lights, no bumper. Uh, there was a door. Uh, no front fenders. Does this thing come off? This little metal. Nope. Okay. Not enough. Our status body. Okay, body is 1%. Parts are 10%. Framing is 11%. Wow. There wasn't much life, uh, life left on our interiors. 20. Okay. So this is, those are the numbers we want to see. Let's have a transmission. That's surprising. A starter, though. I guess that helps us out. These are the, yeah, there's one hidden in behind where the starter goes in. By the way, most starters on V8s come in this way. They don't come in this way. They come in this way. It's a little gripe of mine. <laughs> that the starter is positioned incorrectly on most of these cars. Or most of the V8s, I should say. There might be some V8s where it comes in from the side like that. From the transmission side, but most of them come in from the engine side and go back. Into the bell housing. Alright, no oil. Okay. Oh, that's <laughs> getting ready to drain the oil. It's like there's no oil in it. Equipment from Dre. Okay. Let's go ahead and take out what's left in the hood here. There's that much. Okay, that's it. Let's pull that out. We don't want this thing having rust babies. Uh, lift that up. Let's go put the engine on the sand here. Okay. Cool. Yeah, let's do it a little bit differently than we normally do. Let's uh, take the entire engine apart instead. Just start with the engine. It's a very tall supercharger, by the way. A beast super or used to be a beast supercharger is no good now, but look at that one lifting rod. <laughs> oh, this bolt hiding in the rest. Like, this engine is mostly missing, so... Just like, eh, might as well, right? Oh. Rotate it. I'm surprised that cam, or that crank has not fallen out. And then, all oh, eight. the engine done. Let's repair that trunk real quick. 69% nice. Okay. We managed to clean up all that rust. Ooh. Heck yes. 
Yeah, I actually do kind of like doing the junkyard ones because then, you know, there's not going to be many parts on it, and you know that most of the parts are going to be. There's going to be a few that you have to repair, but most of the parts are going to be damaged beyond repair. And you got to buy a new anyway. Toning out the cylinders there at the end. Okay. So there's the engine. Out. Alright, brand new block. Um, we know what we can buy. Um, I'm just going to type in B8. Okay, that did not help. Uh, it is these, though. Uh, these heads. Um, I don't remember which cams. Or which cams. I don't remember which... Um, uh, which, do what carburetor it is. Um, let's type in piss. Get our eight pistons ready. Okay. Back over here. Type in piss over here. Let's get the piston rings. Oop, only eight. Thank you. I don't think the lifters... Or the rockers. Oh, okay. So those are all over here. You know what we need. So I need these. 16. Um, and then... Oh. Rod? Ah, push rod. That's what they're calling it. Okay. Whatever. That's too many. And then eight of those. Okay. Okay, um, what else? Um, oh, we need that one. We need the clutch release bearing. Now we're going to need a flywheel from here. We're going to need uh, this and this. Let's see, we're going to need whatever, what other parts would be on that engine. Uh, I guess the supercharger. We can buy the supercharger. So I believe it's this one and this one. Overhead valve, yep, okay. Uh, supercharger. I don't think they sell blowers. No. Okay, that's a blow-off valve. That's not what I'm looking for. Uh, INT? No, that's not what I'm looking for. Did they call it a bug catcher? No, they did not call it a bug catcher. Okay, good. <laughs> Just make sure. Okay. <laughs> I've heard it called a bug catcher before. Uh, what about butterfly now? Air? Just type in air. What are they trying to call it here? Scoop air filter. Scoop? Um, S-C-O? Ah, they're calling it an air scoop. Um, and we also need two of those, I believe. Oh, can we get those over here? Oh. Only those. I guess, it, I think it is chrome already anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, so that and that. So the camshaft in here, but I don't think the crank is, no. Which is unfortunate. How's the towers are crank? Oh, we managed to repair it. Okay. Now we need an oil filter. Bang, bang. Oh, and one of those as well. And one of those as well. Put that on, put that on. Oh, 
Oh, we need caps as well. Um, no, that's not the right type of cap. I do believe we need that, though. Uh, we needed these. There's supposed to be five in this engine, but unfortunately this game only has three. Um, this one. I believe that is. Uh, ignition. Uh, we have an ignition distributor. It's probably going to be A. But I don't remember. Uh, ignition rotor. Uh, ignition coil B. Uh, ignition distributor A. I'm going to say A. A! <laughs> also, for that. Okay, so not oil filter or string pump. Alternator. Uh, ignition coil B, which we already got. That over here. Alright, we'll start with that. We got a cluster of parts. Start putting everything back together with. I wish I could put air pull engines apart and put them back together this fast. So nice. I'd love to be in that world. It's taking for me forever on my pickups engine. Um, just because I'm only doing a little bit. Of, I'm only able to do a little bit at a time, so. Uh, that's my excuse. <laughs> I'm only able to do a little bit at a time. A few hours here, a few hours there, and the cleaning is what's taking up most of the time because um, everything's pretty darn nasty on that engine. Need an oil pan too, because there wasn't an oil pan on this. Yeah, that's so. Oil pan. Oil filter. Okay. Rotate. Put on the heads. Performance heads. We're almost to the fun part. And anyone that's watched this series before, especially this engine, you know what the fun part is. Uh, I forgot. Uh, uh, car part. Uh, shop. Um, SPA, got my caps locked on again, whoops. Um, ignition distributor, uh, or ignition wires, um, it's not that V8, it is the V8 that's at the front. Overhead valve D, probably. You know, I don't know. I'm just going to... Oh, two of those. We can... Um, get those. Here. Look at that shiny. So shiny. I wish the... Um, the, uh, the car editor allows you to mess with a lot more than you can currently. Currently, you can't mess with a whole lot. Oh, it was the other distributor. It was the short one, not the long one. Oh, no, it was this one. Wait, what? Never mind. One of them. Wonder. T-I-M? Nope. No timing stuff. T-I-M. So we need a... Uh, 
Uh, need a timing gear. Where's all the timing gears? Oh, is it like cam camshaft gear? It's and it is the that one. Back over here. F U E. So fuel pump and fuel filter. We'll just buy both. Oh, yeah, we're, and from here on, we're missing stuff. Call that tight cover. Put this on there as well. I was just like, how many more volts? <laughs> Would have been insane. This is going to be not only just, it's not only going to be supercharged, it's going to be a beast with these upgrades. Okay, so yeah, let's do the fun part. You guys remember the fun part. Putting all 16 of these into the engine. That. Push rods, or all those lifting rods, whatever, and then all 16 of the rockers, which have a bolt each as well. But yes, in real life, you do put the lifters, the lifting rods, and the rockers before the intake. Because you need to be able to perform certain procedures, as well as you need to be able to put the lifting rods on top of the lifters. And the lifters need to be in there, and they all go underneath that intake, so... Yes. That's this type of engine, anyway. Every single one of these. Actually, uh, the thing I was doing today, by the way, that took most of my day, or most of the time I was working, these springs right here, these are uh, valve springs. Um, these springs push, or help pull the, the valve back closed. But, um, yeah, I was working on these today. So you put a tool that pushes down on this little cap right here, and it, this is actually the valve. This is a part of the cap. It's actually the valve. And then you push that and you compress the spring, take the two keepers, which is on this side, there's one on this side and one on this side, which hold this cap on and hold the, the spring and the cap to the valve. You pull the two little keepers off and then you release the tool, which releases the springs, pull the spring and the cap off, completely off of the thing. And then I was putting um, umbrella seals in, which um, on older engines, the umbrella seals prevent oil from going down the valves and into the cylinders down here in the block and burning oil which is what my truck was doing which is obvious because I only got one head done because obviously there's eight per head uh, which took a while but yes it um, uh, it was pulling in oil because the, the umbrella seals that were there um, were old obviously Hey, we got the cap right. I just need two of these. And this works. So it's just ignition wires V8. I don't think I've ever worked on an engine where the distributor was in the front. Oh, we didn't buy those clips. And this one's really hard to get to. Right there. Okay, we'll put in the we'll put
put that in then, fine. That clip is really hard to get to back there. High power output. <laughs> So neither of those. Go water pump. That, that, and that. I guess we need both of those. Yeah, we got to do the supercharger next. But we do need our covers. Um, I believe in the uh, in, tw in uh, Car Mechanics in 2018, the tune-up shop had valve covers. You could get like red ones, uh, which is unfortunate that you can't do that no more. I need to get some mods for this game. I need to look for mods for like the add-ons and things. Or get some interesting cars, maybe. Or make my... I, I would love to learn how to make my own mods, but I would have to 3D model, and I'd have to know how to 3D model and stuff like that. But yeah, if I was a 3D model, I would do... Uh, if I could do 3D model, I would do a V8 engine. Um, well, obviously, similar to what's in the game, but I'd have my own model of a V8 engine. Um... That would be the V8 engine that I'm used to, and it would have every single bolt um, to that engine. <laughs> so it'd be a real, it would be a real true simulation. I wish I could buy a radiator fan from the tune-up shop. Not that it would do me much good, but... At least it could be shiny and chrome or something. Colored. Okay. Over here. So it was just the four barrel. Oh, and by the way, this, this isn't 100% correct, this um, blower here. It, see, these are the carburetors, which are connected together via rods and spring, various springs and stuff. But there's also a connector up here. I, I think it's on this side. I'm not sure. But this is a butterfly valve. So when you press the throttle, it also turns this, which rotates these three which they're all connected with a rod via in, in the interior, and then that flips it open. So the more throttle you press down on the gas pedal, the more these carburetors open up their little valves, and then this valve opens up as well. And it's called a butterfly valve. It's just like the butterfly wings, the center rod, and then you've got uh, half circles on either side of the rod, so kind of like a butterfly, essentially. Um, but yeah this this open so there'd be a so you can take like this this little bit of asset here attached to this and put one up here that would uh, that work for me <laughs> that's how that is yeah if it was all the if it was closed all the way every time we press the throttle it would the engine would try to kill out or kill over or cut out and sometimes it probably would <laughs> because it'd have no airflow you need that airflow. Alright, we're just going to leave that beast of an engine. Actually, you 
know what. Let's take a photo. There you go. There's our there's our thumbnail for this one. The beast engine. Okay. Now it's just the car. <laughs> ain't much, ain't much to save, honestly. Everything's rusted, which you know, makes sense. Makes sense for an old car like this. Like how the the rubber bushings, like most of them are missing. I'm surprised this car was holding together. So much, so much rust. Rusty bolts. Okay. And then it's just that. 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 the front suspension gone and yeah if you are going to fix rust on a car like at, to this extent with like a bunch of welders and stuff like that and you need room more than likely you you would probably take most of the car apart get all the old parts off and stuff like that to get everything out of the way so that you can um, work on all the rust bits so it looks like it's a coil over control arm Coil over solid axle. These are coil springs, so it's coil over, and then it's over the solid axle. And then these are just these are just like these are like almost like a half leaf spring style. Just control arms connected the um, the axle to the body. It's not even a fuel tank. Just realize that. Hopefully we can fix a bunch of this. We don't have to um, buy m more parts than we absolutely need. But, we gotta buy parts. It's gotta be 100%ed. That's the... I guess sort of the challenge of the wheel. It's not. It's not a challenge wheel per se. It's more of a. It's more of a just a job decider. So that we have to go. Hey, what what kind of cars should we work on today? Should we do all barn finds? Should we do all junkyard? All right. Car status. Parts one percent. Body one percent. Frame eleven percent. Interior. Okay. So all the parts are off the car. All right. So this thing is supposed to be black. It looks like. All right. Look at that. All fixed up. Framing's now 100%. So it's a black Impala. Beastly. It's going to be a beastly black Impala. All right. There was no battery. Separate, separate, 
traffic. Pick. Um, yes. Over here, of course. Can't put any brakes. One brake. That's all that we can fix. Alright, let's fix everything we can. Shouldn't take too long, hopefully. As long as we get that 100% chance, or we get that chance to repair 100%, like we, like there, achieve it in one hit. That's always nice. Fixing some of it. Some of it ain't too badly rusted. <laughs> like it's badly rusted, but it ain't it ain't to the point where it's not repairable, I guess is what I mean. Are we gonna break any parts? Are we gonna break any parts? Or am I gonna jinx myself? No! We didn't break a single part. Or than it, this entire car, right? Or am I just kidding myself? Okay. Okay. So now we need the uh, double wishbone shock absorber. We'll, we'll start with that. Okay. S H O. Um, double wishbone shock absorber. Two of those. We need two shock absorber caps. Um, we also need two of these. I believe it's um, shark absorber B. Okay. Might as well buy all the shark absorber stuff while we're here. Um, we need two brake shoes. Two shark absorber Bs for the rear. Uh, SPR. Two springs for the front, two springs for the rear. Okay. Um, two spring caps. They're not that expensive, so. Okay, so that's all the spring stuff. Um, uh, tie rods, two. We didn't have any drums either. Bushings, we definitely need bushings. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I believe. So I think they're big rubber bushings in the rear. What else can't be repaired? Sway bar stuff. Is it end link A or B? I don't remember. We'll just start with what we got. Oh, we need a fuel tank. Almost forgot about that. F U E. Yeah, didn't even didn't even have a fuel tank. Right. Fuel tank. We did buy a fuel pump. Oh, that's wow. The whole rear end is screwed. Oh, we need brake discs uh, for performance. Two of those, please. There we go. <laughs> this is like, wait a minute. I didn't hear that do sound. Okay, we managed to repair both of those. Uh, we need blue spring plate. Okay, what about lead spring bolts? Almost all four of them are able to be repaired. Very nice, very nice. Oh. <laughs> okay, stop it.
Oh, we didn't need to buy those caps. Oh, they're they're cheap. We can just resell them. They're brand new. At least this suspension will go by quick. There's not much to it. Not a whole lot. shopping list. So I don't accidentally buy... Oop. <laughs> that time I did it before I even bought the part. <laughs> oh well then. Okay, we did. We're able to... You can actually rebuild those. You can replace the rubbers and little piston pieces and stuff like that. I did mine on my pickup. Put brand new parts and brand new rubbers on there. Okay. Very good, very good. Brick drum, brick shoes, and then the actual drum. Okay. So that's the that's the rear suspension done. Not able to repair that. I guess brand new one it is. Again, oh, we need both of those anyway. Okay, and that tight rod ends. So yeah, that's how I do it in real life. This would already be attached to the steering or to the uh, uh, steering rack. And then yeah, I'd put the I'd bring the knuckle up here, and I would bolt on the tie rod first, um, because nothing else is here. I would just kind of bolt on the tie rod, but loosely, um, and then hold, uh, continue holding it up. That's just in case I accidentally drop it. it this doesn't hit the floor, but you would also bend this, so you'd have to be careful. And then yeah, I'd put that together in there. One of them. Yep, I bolt this in. Of course, this this would probably already be bolted, and this one as well would already be bolted to this frame here. And then I bring it all together there. And then we need two of those. Oh, we haven't put the shock up uh, the shock absorber stuff together yet. Oop, that's battery. <laughs> I'm panicking. There's one. And there's two. Give it to me. That would go in next. And then this, uh, so this steering knuckle, steering knuckle cover, as I've explained before. Um, and that. And uh, we need hub stuff. So hub. Two of 
those. And two of those. That, this, and this would already be pressed together before it even went on the car. As I've expressed beforehand. Get past. Bottom suspension arm. Oh, we needed. Oh, we needed two of those. I guess they were both screwed. And there's all our rubber bushings. No more rubber bushings to worry about. Oh, we need to cover as well. Up. brand new brake pads. How about... Them? Oh, both of those are bad. I'm actually going to type in BRA because we might need the we might need the cylinders as well. Yep, need the cylinders as well. Alrighty, that's that side. Done. Finished. No. Hear that back. New brake disc. Yeah, we want the performance ones on there. We're gonna need it. All this horse power and torque we got going on. And this side, we, this side is, did have that, right? Yes, okay, it did. Alright, cool. Um, that should be all the suspension stuff. Yeah, it's just the engine and then exhaust. Uh, we can buy exhaust. there. Okay, now we need rims and stuff. We should definitely put some, uh, put some different rims on this car. 15 inch is what I'm going to use, because it's the standard for these type of cars. Hmm. Now, what type of rim should we use? See, these are the rims that go on it. Um, which aren't too bad, aren't too bad. But I want to put some, I want to put some muscle rims on here. Let's see, which ones have we used in the past? Because we don't want to repeat. Um, we we've used these, right? We use these. I don't remember. Uh, we can use these ones. But isn't there? Uh, let's let's hit B. Um, yeah, so these are all the, the rim Bs. Uh, we could use these. These are like uh, more of a classic muscle. But you can't paint them. I'd paint this red and then leave the center cap. It'd be like chrome. Like the old-fashioned muscle cars. Like really old. <laughs> uh, let's see. See, the TBX uh, isn't too bad. Yeah, let's go with the TBX. 
They want 15 inch rims. Yeah, the TBX is pretty nice. Alright. Let's see what kind of tire size we got in our. Alright, so it was 15 inch, okay. We might stick with the vintage. Uh, the vintage tires do look good on this car, but I'm also might go for some classic racing tires. as well. Let's see, 205.70s, 205s are pretty thin. I'm going to say two, uh, 245 might fit pretty well. Let's try a 245. So should we stick with these? Yes, we should. Let's go with these. So, 15 inch. Let's do a 245. What was it? 245.50? Uh, I forgot. Uh, where's my inventory? There it is. Uh, uh, 70s. They were 70s. Okay. Now we can do 70s. Oh, whoops. Always change this first. 15 inch, 240, 245.70s. That's quite a tall sidewall, but. Alright, let's see what we get. Wow, <laughs> really tall sidewalls there. That's some. A... <laughs> uh, no. See, I wish you could. Not have to balance it, you can just install it. Oh, yeah, you have to balance it. Unfortunately. Like in real life, I would fit that to the car first and then balance it if I liked it. This thing's gonna have no traction with these tires, by the way. Oh, look at that beast of a tire! <laughs> Uh, oh, we can go even wider. Uh, 265. I'm going to do a 265. Uh, two, 265.55. Or we could do it. We could go 255.55. Or 255.60s. 255.60s don't sound too bad. Um, just trying to go with some realistic tire size as possible. Yeah, these are too tall, man. Or... Actually... Let's go with these. Uh, let's go... We got 275. Let's see, 265. 265.50. 265.55. 265.55, yeah. We'll try it. Uh, 265.55s. It's a very wide tire. Need some big fatties on the rear. For all the torque we got going on. That's kind of what I'm going for. Those actually look pretty nice. Yeah. Those aren't too bad. 
Well, you could go a little wider, but that's fine. Alright, so what was that? 265.55s? Or 265.55. Sixty-five, and then we'll go two hundred five, two hundred five. We'll do the two hundred five seventies. Uh, see, that's that's what I mean. Uh, two hundred five, seventy. We'll do those on the fronts. That looks about right. Man over here. All right, mount. And then two sixty-five, fifty-fives. not too bad. The car would sit a little lower in the front, but uh, it would sit a little lower because of the engine anyway, but it would sit even lower. <laughs> and hell, these these tires might be wide enough that it would uh, uh, try to do wheelies, especially with the supercharged engine and all that. Alright, cool. Let's grab the engine. That oh, whoops. Uh... It. I want it. I needs it. Be installed. Back. Oh, look at that beast! <laughs> That's a beast Impala right there. Uh, I think the, even with the supercharger, this car might be still too heavy to actually do a wheelie. It would just burn the tires. It wouldn't. They would have too much torque and horsepower. Wouldn't be able to grip. Maybe drag tires might help. You'd have to lift it, the back end up pretty high, though, in order, in order to get wide enough tires to actually gain enough traction. Okay. What's next? Inside the engine bay, we go. So we need one of those, one of those, one of those, one of those, and one of those. We were able to repair this, good. Alright, so then bang, bang, bang. Bang, 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 and bang. And over to electronics. Grab that battery. I wish when you swap over to the store, it would put in your shopping list, it would put those parts that you can buy from that. Two of those. Two of those. Two of those. 
And one of those. Okay. Back over here to a normal part shop. Other reservoirs and stuff. So they were all just gone. Wait, what? I must have fat fingered a key or something. Oops. Okay. That. Just gotta put all these damn fuses in here. That's right. Okay. And then radiator. And then this reservoir, that reservoir, that reservoir. We're gonna go part unmount. Let's start filling our full of fluids. You know, I used to, um, back in Car Mechanic Sim 2018, uh, you could have, th you had three car lifts, and I would rebuild anywhere between three to five cars at a time, all the same car. So what I would do is I would I'd go around to the barn finds and go around to the, um, to the junkyard and to, even to the car auctions, and I would go and buy... Um, anywhere between three to five of the same car, the exact same car, and then I would buy all the parts that you couldn't repair for that one car five times, and then, re uh, um, yeah, I would build five engines, uh, it was, uh, it was insane, <laughs> it would take hours, but then I'd have five cars and I would, I'd keep one and sell four. I made a ton of money <laughs> doing that, but the hours put in was uh, pretty, uh, it was pretty insane. Pretty sure that's full. Can't see it, but pretty sure it's full. By the way, that's not how you tell it's full. If it's pouring out the valve cover, you've got problems. <laughs> uh, you always check this, which it is full. As you can see, it's at the max line on the far left, far bottom left. That's how you check it's full in real life. Alright, so then it's just the exhaust and the transmission. That's all that's left. And of course we're going to buy a... Um, one of these. Yeah, that's right, transmission. Okay, it's like, wait a minute, this don't look as shiny as it, I thought it did. Oh yeah, we have a starter. Okay, electronics. Okay, and then after this drive shaft... Oh, that's not electronic, of course. Made that mistake earlier, too. This for okay, that should be all the parts. Parts 100%, frame 100%. Now we just got to do the rest of it, or the body and the interior. I don't know uh, which we should put in the interior here. I don't know if you can swap out the rear bench seat. Um, let me see though. So, like, let's say the we let's say we wanted this one. 
Uh, normal mode. Interior assemble. Nope. You have to have that one. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, right. Normal mode. Then we can go to the story. That's actually kind of annoying. So we have to have this one. Assemble. Oop. Uh, so confusing. Okay, so we have to have that. Which is just a straight, regular black seat. And then uh, we're going to go normal mode. I think I want to put in some racing seats, because we're going to need them anyway. We just want straight black racing seats then. Um, it's all the way, not too far. So some of the more expensive ones. Is there any straight black ones? I can see this one, but they like got a bit of gray in them. That's a 370Z seat. <laughs> we could put those in there. Yeah, that would be hilarious. There is some straight black seats, but nothing... Nothing that... Oh, actually. These two. We'll go, we'll go with those straight black. And then, of course, we need a steering wheel. What kind of steering wheel should we, should we go for? Um... We could go with this. I should have put that on the last car. Was a little rider. <laughs> Chain steering wheel. Um let's see we need a three spoke. See there's the there's the wheel that's supposed to be in here. I like this one. The steering wheel bandit. Um that one's not too bad. We could also go for steering wheel three. But it's wood, and I don't want wood. And that one's gray, and I don't want gray. Can't they just have this one in, or this one in black? Uh, so I could match the rest of the interior. And they got this one. This one's not too bad. Let's go with this one. Okay. Uh, interior assemble mode. I'm gonna go with racing seats because of the torque and horsepower this car has. Probably be best to have. Uh, uh, probably be best to have some racing seats in there. <laughs> Look at that beast. And then all mode. Right, and then car status. Okay, now it's just the body. Body tuning shot. Yes. Um, we're going to stay with the chrome bumpers. But we do have to have this hood. I'm trying to decide. Do I want bright headlights? I'll buy them. But I think I want the stand. I think I want standard tail lights. By the way, I don't want. I don't like these. I don't like the look of them. Normal bodywork. Yeah, I like the red. The old classic. Uh, we gotta buy all the windows, of course. Just that way. And mirrors. Uh, which door was it? I'll just buy both, I think. Oh. Bumpers. Yeah, I want the chrome ones. Uh, mirrors. And fenders. There wasn't a... Oh, we fixed the trunk. Okay, we did fix the trunk. Good. Okay, uh, that might be it. Yeah, gotta have the hood be... Can't, can't have the other one. Not, <laughs> it wouldn't be able to open the hood. It'd be clipped inside. You can't do that. 
bumper, of course. I like these headlights. There's too much chrome up front, need a bit more black. So that's why I like them. Looking good. When we fixed the only part of the vehicle that was actually, or the only body part that was actually on the vehicle. Now the red looks good. Look at that chrome. <laughs> Beast. Car status, 91%. Hopefully the license plates take that up. Uh, plate shop. Caps locked on again. Let's see, would this work? So we got to start over here. So then we want eight. Let's let's do a normal E. Let's do a normal A. A. And then 5. And then T again. Can you read what it says? I can't. <laughs> Let's just go with. That's just like, ah, I just, I just can't. I'm going the wrong way. There we go. The beast. We keep calling it. I keep calling it the beast, so I might as well. The beast. And we need two of those. Alright. The beast. Look at that. 100% it across the board. And we did fill it up with fluids, yes. I believe we did. Did we do coolant? I don't remember. Yes. Okay, we did do coolant. Uh, that's all the fluids. Okay. Move car over to the test path. Let's get her aligned. There we go. Line the headlights. That one's way down there. over to the paint shop. Let's get her painted. I think I want to keep the black, but I want to see what kind of liveries we got. Um, okay. Uh, let's paint it white. Just for a second. Or red. 
That works too. Alright, so we got some dual stripage. Um, dual stripage white. Ooh, that looks cool. I like that. I think that would go well with um, blue, like a, a an old blue. Two fifty six. That's eh, no too many stripes and things. Too busy. I think we're gonna go with the racing. Yeah, we'll go with the racing. And then, yeah, like I said, yes, that's it's not quite there, but that's about that's about what you would see. So it'd be it'd be about maybe two hundred, and then uh, take away some saturation, so about ninety. And darken it just a hair. About eighty. Go back. Desaturated about 80, maybe. It looks like a proper race car. Like an old, old race car. <laughs> well, I guess it's not meant to be a race car. Uh, race cars wouldn't have superchargers. Could go with this. Go with that. Then metallic darken it. It's like a candy apple red there. Go with that or go straight black. Straight black looks good too. But some of the other colors we don't touch, usually. Um, ooh, actually. Desaturate it slightly. Ooh, that kind of turns into a purple. It's not a bad color. I'll go 70. Yes. Yeah, she is a beast. <laughs> Perfect. I don't know, should we have stripes? Go black it now, black it now. Black air. That looks good. The white stripes, that looks okay. Yeah, let's go with that. It is kind of a purple. Yeah. Okay. Now, something we haven't done uh, in this game yet. We haven't dynoed a car. So let's dyno a car. Um, and if you're... Uh, let me tell you about a dyno here real quick okay just so you know in case you don't so first of all yeah we get the car up on these on these rollers here um, and these rollers um, this is a full car dyno um, so you basically the whole car gets dynoed with the the torque and the horsepower from the engine um, with the, the speed of the transmission the speed of the wheels all that stuff gets essentially tested with these rollers here so these rollers are hooked up to, uh, they're hooked up to computers, um, and only the rear wheels are going to spin, by the way, because it's rear wheel drive, so that makes sense. <laughs> uh, this tube right here, if you're wondering what this is, this is a, an exhaust um, suction tube, I guess you could call it. Uh, I don't know the exact name for it, but yeah. So what you do is you take these exhausts and you stick them on the end of these, because you don't want to fill the room with the exhaust. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's more of a mental type of thing for you. These fans here, so these fans are going to be uh, simulating uh, wind speed uh, for the car itself. 
Um, dynos can also be used for testing aerodynamics um, if you have a big enough fan and a smoking and a, and a, a smoker tube thing, smoking machine, a smoking machine that <laughs> creates smoke so that it would. Uh, um, It creates like a stream of smoke, whatever. Anyway, so these these fans they simulate wind speed. So when you're when you're actually uh, dynoing a car, you have to have fans, and the reason is is for airflow for the radiator. Um, because if you don't have that, the engine will overheat. Because it's working really really hard, but not a whole lot of air is getting past the radiator, so it's not cooling the coolant. So then the engine will just overheat. It'll probably blow up. <laughs> <laughs> at a point. Um, because, yes, we do have a radiator fan pulling air through the radiator, but um, a lot of the cooling is also done by you move, by the car moving. So that's why cars tend to overheat in the summertime. They tend to overheat in traffic, uh, in slow-speed traffic, because they're not moving, but they're still running. Um, and not a whole lot of air is getting past the radiator. So that's what these fans are going to do. Is push air past the radiator to simulate it moving. Um, keep the radiator cool and all that. So, yeah. And uh, so, traditionally, the car would be strapped to the floor or attached to the floor. It'd be anchored to the floor in some way so that it cannot move. Because um, if this car was just like this without any straps and you started driving and got to, got to great speed... Um, vibration could cause the car to drift back and forth on the rollers. Um, and if it got too far off the roller, guess what's going to happen? That tire is going to hit traction and it's going to take off <laughs> and it's going to go through the back wall <laughs> because it wasn't attached. And famously, there's videos on YouTube. You should look them up. Um, car dyno fails. Oh, people not failing or failing to strap cars down correctly and just all kinds of cool stuff or funny stuff going on <laughs> where the car just tries to take off uh, and uh, people blowing up engines and things like that as well. Um, because with the dyno, you got to know what you're doing when you're using a car dyno. Because if you don't use it correctly, a lot of things can go wrong very quickly. So, all right, let's dyno. Too bad we can't see the car. See, you, see, you hear the fans kicking up? Alright, start the test. Let's do the beast. Give it a couple revs. Put it in gear. So factory horsepower is 517 horsepower, 70, 717 foot-pounds of torque, and um, the measured horsepower, 1,039 horsepower and 1,400 foot-pounds of torque. That is a beast of a car. We uh, gained 522 horsepower, and we gained 706 foot-pounds of torque. This, this thing is a beast of a car. Uh, good luck keeping tires on it. <laughs> While trying to just play in city traffic. Okay, we're not going to sell the car yet. We're going to do some stuff we haven't done on the... Um, we haven't done with this game yet. Let's go over to the racetrack. Let's see how badly this car will drive. Now, unfortunately, I have to use mouse and keyboard here. Um, so, uh, I'm not going to be very good at driving. <laughs> I hate on-off steering and on-off throttle and on-off brakes. I like to be able to control those individually. Can we change the camera? That's a free cam. Shift. Let's 
guy needs to learn how to shift before he blows the motor to pieces. Ooh. Also, that rev limiter is really low. Bottoms out immediately. Oh my gosh. I have to use mouse and keyboard. I think the controller does not work uh, with this game. At least not correctly. My controller is also kind of broken. Yeah, I've got the controller plugged in. Nope. Uh oh. What did I do? I'm driving with the controller. I'm much better with the controller. <laughs> oh, too much torque, man. I cannot keep the rear traction. Oh my gosh. Go, go, go! Can I shift, please? Oh, I can. Oh, it's fighting me. Oh, it's really fighting me. Oh, there's no options. I can't manually shift. It keeps fighting me on it. Jeez. This car is barely touching the throttle. This is definitely a drag car, not a racetrack. Uh, not a, a track car. Only four gears, really? Yep, only four gears. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you cannot press the throttle in more than a quarter way. Come on, car. Does this game have a drag strip? <laughs> because this thing... <laughs> this is not a track car, and with these uh, vintage tires, it has no traction. <laughs> uh, you probably don't want to put these tires with 1,000 horsepower and 1,400 pounds of torque. <laughs> uh, like I said, good luck keeping tires on this thing. So this thing, I was barely hold or barely holding the throttle down, and that damn thing just keeps wanting to spin out. Okay, controller no longer works. All of a sudden, test track, car saloon, speed track. That's what we want. We probably it's only got four gears, unfortunately. Um. I have a modified transmission. Why do I only have four gears? I should have at least six. With this engine, six is a pretty good number.
What is this camera, by the way? <laughs> Burning out in fourth gear. having a good old time. Beast. Alright. Back to the garage we go. And let's unplug that. <laughs> Gonna unplug that controller because it has a problem with the left stick. Left stick moves left slightly. <laughs> Uh, it's a cheap controller, so, you know, didn't expect it to last. Alrighty. Come on, load. Back to the garage we go. Thank you. <laughs> now we gotta put brand new tires on it because the tires are probably gone. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's move the car, or not move the car, car status, 100% across the board. Uh, so I was close, I did overdo though. I said 80 grand profit, we made 76 grand profit. Um, parts value, uh, performance add-on, buy price. Selling it for eighty-four thousand. Wait, I could still be right here. So seventy-six grand. That was our profit. Um, sell all parts. Seventy-six. So it sends in the eight, so nine, eighty. Yep, we hit it. Oh hey, we got a case for that. Man, very rare though, in getting any of these. So to do the two outer ones. Ah, yeah, whatever. Sweet! Alright. Very good job, everybody. Should we do one more for the road? One more for the road. Uh, over here. Right. Okay. There's our wheel. And three, two, 
One, spin the wheel. What are we going to get? Barn find. Ooh. Not bad, not bad, not bad. All righty. Barn find it is. Oop. Sorry about that. Forgot to take the wheel off. Grab a random barn find. I'm hoping I find a Lambo. <laughs> I want the Lamborghini Diablo. That's what I want. Let me rebuild that. Right. That's a beautiful car. Um. Oh, whoops. Forgot to use it. Alright, barn find one. Enter. Wonder what what awaits us at this location. What kind of cars are we gonna find? I'm, like I said, I'm hoping for the Lamborghini Diablo. I am really hoping for the Lambo. Dang it! It's not a car. Right? It's not, it's not a vehicle that I adjust the engine and trample us. A big barn as well. Very big barn. Oh, we've only got two. Don't oh, know. We got three choices. We done one of these already. Uh, the Corvette C4. Alright, so I guess our only option is the C3. Yep, that's our only option. Other than the uh, 4T bucket. That's what this is, by the way. So like I said, hot rod across the, uh, across the radiator. Interesting. But yeah, the engine is a bit bigger than that. <laughs> yep, the engine's a wee bit bigger than that. Also, stop. um, I'm pretty sure the doors open wider than that. The reason I know this is uh, the reason I know about this this car in particular because I know somebody that has one of these. My, one of my family members actually owns a... It isn't exactly like this, but it's very similar. It is a two-seater um, uh, Ford Model T. It's a Model T... We call it, we call it the um, Model T bucket. <laughs> I think it's actually called that, but because it is a bucket that you sit in, essentially. Yep, there's the brake. And all that goodness. I don't remember if it had suicide doors. It has been years since I actually looked at it. Um, now it's sitting in it's sitting in a garage, locked up garage. Where I couldn't tell you, so I had no idea, <laughs> and I probably wouldn't tell you if I did. All right, buy car, Corvette C3. What are you asking? That's right. Oh, that's right, because the parts are, um, that's right, the parts are more, of more, of more quality. Right. back to the garage we go. Should we do an engine swap or not, I think? What would be nice is to be able to put some of the newer engines in the older cars. Being able to swap that. 
I got a bit of a yelling going on. First of all, move this car over to the car wash. Now these cars tend to be more complete, the barn finds. It's actually got a decent in shape body. Um, missing a few parts, and it's also two-tone green. I think somebody, somebody like found some darker green doors. Oh, no, it's painted that way. I thought that was a shadow. Oh no, maybe it is a shadow. Maybe, maybe it's just a shadow. The way the shadows look, I'm not sure. Hmm. Anyway, um, let's restore this car. No, no upgrades this time. Let's re restore this car. Uh, score, score. Nim 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 nim. The fuck knows? I don't even know, and I'm the one saying the words. Let's restore this car. No upgrades. Restore car back to 100% as if it walked off the showroom floor. Hey, get out of there! There's work to be done. Um, but yeah, back to factory. No upgrades or anything. Alright, at normal mode, let's take off all the body parts, like we do every time. Because we're going to do some welding to the body. Get the body back in condition order. Oh, there was no windshield. <laughs> this has got the old flip-up headlights. I actually like this. It's a pretty nice. That's a mechanic. Car status, body, 1% or 1% uh, frames and then to your, your, okay, yep, all good there. Okay. Take all this off. A lot of rusty parts. The body's in good shape, but the parts are not. Right. Um, is there an oil pan? There is. Okay, so presumably there's oil in the car. Drain it. Yep, there was a little bit of oil. Just a little dribble. There wasn't much of the exhaust left, huh? Stuff as per the usual. Okay, that's all disconnected. Now we go ahead and pull the engine out. Pull the engine out. That's why. Another coil over suspension. We just done one of these. So that shouldn't be too bad. Should be fairly quick and easy. At least you would hope, anyway. 
The engine's gonna take a bit longer because it's a bit more complete. Um, there's that. Starting to zone out again. Sorry. <laughs> it's just like I'm starting to zone out because I'm, I'm extremely tired. I uh, Today I'm working on about four hours of sleep. Just uh, the way everything went. I ended up with four hours of sleep. <laughs> Partially because of my back didn't want me to sleep, but uh, also partially because I wanted to... I did kind of want to stay awake at the same time, but I wasn't too fussed if I did manage to get to sleep. So, yeah, my back was just helping. Also, the front suspension is missing. Damn near all of it. <laughs> I just noticed that. It's like, uh, oh damn. <laughs> Like the brakes, and man, somebody needed the parts out of this. I'm even gonna paint this car back to the factory color. Won't be too bad. Alright, uh, car status, 1%, 1%, yeah, we're good. And lower it down. Yeah, see, we are missing parts. Okay, first of all, equipment, car lift tray, use equipment. Restore that body back up to full 100% mode. And then we're going to put it back. There. Body work. Yes. Oh yeah, it only, well, yeah, the, it should have windows on the doors, but it doesn't. No, oh, let's go repair the rest of the body parts that we can first. Yeah, a lot of this was pretty good shape, so... Don't worry about it too much. Alright, that's all the body work. Oh, we were missing a hood. Oh, I don't know, I had added it to my thing. No. There we go. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go straight for the license plates this time. I like the red dot one. Well, I have the red dot license plate, it's pretty cool. Uh, 
Um, oh. So I'm thinking B U Y. One, two, three. M E H by me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we need incentive. Oh, and I bought only one. Well, <laughs> I only bought one. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Uh, dang it. people buy this car. Um, that's a, uh, bye, meh. <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta change those license plates. <laughs> He's gonna be trying to buy a car. <laughs> oh, imagine that. Like, uh, you, get, you get your license plates through the DMV and everything. And it just says, uh, for sale. <laughs> Everybody's trying to buy your car. <laughs> uh, but then you're too poor to change it, so you just have to deal with it. Oh, man, that'd be annoying as all hell. Okay. Car status, 100%, 100%. Alright, cool. Uh, let's do the interior. Uh, into your assemble mode. So bang, bang, bang. I don't think this has um, um, like it doesn't have specific seats. And, oop, uh, interior, assemble, brand new steering wheel, and brand new seats. Alright, cool. Now it's just all the parts. Ugh. <laughs> what kind of, um... Okay. What kind of steering knuckles is on the front? Okay, so it's going to be a double wishbone shock absorber. We'll get that first. Um, we'll do the suspension. So, SHO, just like always. Uh, rear shock absorber Bs as well. And we had coil over, so we're going to need those. Double wishbone shock absorber. I don't remember if it was brake. We'll buy these just in case. I think it's brake drums on the rear, but I'm not sure. Um, speaking of brakes, okay. Um, what else? Uh, oh, springs. And you can uh, you can repair those just in case. All right. Um, bushing. So fourteen of these. And then tie rod ends. Uh, fuel. If we didn't have a fuel pump. And you can't repair fuel tanks, so those two. Um, 
let's see, what else can't you repair? The sway bar stuff. It was a front sway bar. B, maybe. I'm hoping I'm right. <laughs> um, oh, and upper, upper suspension arm. And bottom suspension arm, or no, lower? Is it? Is it bottom or no? It's it's bottom. I might be wrong here. Oh crap! I don't know which one. They're all the same. <laughs> um, what else? Oh, uh, hub, the hub bearings. Can't repair those. Uh, we're going to assemble these. Wait, didn't we have a battery? No. I could have we had a battery. Oh, whatever. Okay. I guess we get to assembling. We'll do the engine at the very last. Alright, so fuel tank. Um, oh, we haven't repaired parts yet. Let's repair parts. There's five pages. I'm going to skip this for you guys. Yeah, that way you don't have to watch me do this. <laughs> and there we are. Very good. That's all the parts repaired that we could repair. Just bought shock absorber. Uh, I want to put these in first. Put these springs in. Okay. And then we need our leaf spring plates and all that goodness. Oh, we needed one, bar one bolt. One leaf spring U-bolt. Guess we touched that last one. We actually didn't break a single part as well. Um, which is really, really nice. Uh, it's really nice when you don't break a single part. Because <laughs> then you're like, oh, I saved so much money by repairing this. And that's 100%. And I don't have to, uh. I'll have to buy new. Maybe that one, that one. I need one of them. Oh, I think it was a uh, brake disc rear. Sure was. Oh, hold on. We didn't do this yet. Probably should have started with the regular brake discs first. <laughs> Clean. Get clean, scrub. Get clean, brick disc. I don't know. I'm just making shit up now <laughs> to just to pass the time. Alright. Um, lay the other brick disc and then we can go over here. We have one good brake caliper. Let's 
So three of those. Okay. And then, oh, we only had, I think we only had one, actually. The rest of, they weren't, the rest of them weren't broken. They were just gone. <laughs> So, two more brick discs, please. Or brick pads, I mean. Okay. So, all, all four brick discs, we were able to turn them. Very good, very good. Saves us a little bit of money there. Brick discs are actually pretty expensive. <laughs> if you have to buy a new. I mean, makes sense though, they are a giant circular chunk of metal, specifically made in, a certain, in specific ways. Okay, that's it. Also, did we separate all of the tires and stuff? Yes. Yes, we did. Okay. So that's the rear suspension done. Now, we were missing a lot up here. Also, you think of these bolts would be going upwards, not downwards. They're bolting up into the body, not bolting down into nothing. <laughs> Whatever. This game doesn't make a whole lot of sense sometimes. Oh, whoops. Accidentally added that, and we already had what we needed. So, yep, tie rod. Tie rod. Bottom suspension arm, A. We only need one. Okay, good thing we didn't buy what, buy any. And then, wait, yes, I got there. So we did buy the right one. that, and that, and we did get the hubs, oh, the hub bearing stuff, just ventilated, break, that, pretty good, that's one side done, back over here. Suspension arm, upper suspension arm. Oh, which one? Shock absorber, sway bar end link, axle knuckle cover. It's like a dust cover type deal. Wheel hub, hub bearing, wheel hub bearing camp. Disc ventilated, brake pads, brake caliper, brake caliper cylinder. Alright. That's the suspension entirely done. But it made a mess. Let's get exhaust. Get exhausted. Uh huh. Those two of those and two of those. Okay. I'll go for the um, inside the engine bay. So far, that's far. Break 
brake thingy. Electrical. Oh, no, don't buy anything. Buy a battery. Right, and then this, which we did manage to repair. Very nice. So, bang, 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 bang. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, also, over here, we do need to cover because they never come with the covers. Which is really strange. That's so two of those. Three of those. Three of those. Two of those. Three of those, and one of those. That, that. The fuse box is always taking a little bit too. Good thing you don't have to do the little ones. Ugh, so annoying. Alright. Our mount. Should be everything but the radiator and the engine, but we're gonna leave the radiator out for now. Okay, let's get some rims and tires, shall we? Uh, inventory. Okay, so... 225.60s. Four of those. And... size with the rim. Right. So race tire. 225-60-15. Did I say 15 or 16? I've already forgotten. 15, dang it. 225-60-15. Yeah, 225.60. Okay. Got it this time. Two twenty five sixty R fifteens and four of them, please. Okay, and then back over to uh, part shop uh, rims. Here we go. And Three of those, 15 inch. There we go. Now we can install. Yeah, those tires are pretty small actually, but it was what's what it was what's on uh, the it was what was on the car. Putting tires together and balancing just going absolutely nuts. Put our tires on. Do they look the same as the rears? Maybe. Yeah, maybe they're, hopefully they're all the same. That's 
the rims and tires done. Now for the long, arduous process of the motor. I wish you could just buy an engine. <laughs> and I'll just sell what I got. Uh, wait, are there any, like, uh... I know we shouldn't swap engines because we, I just wanted to, I was just curious. Um... Oh, uh, the two carb overhead valve. Um, all right, now we have the single carb overhead valve. They have the two carb. They have the two carb overhead valve. Um, and the V8 overhead overhead valve six P. Yeah, we won't swap engines, but I just—I was just curious. So it's basically every V8 of this this style. Interesting. Yeah, it's gonna be. This ain't the fun part yet. The fun part's when we do all the, li the rockers and lifters. high-rise intake. <laughs> yep, this, this engine isn't missing a whole lot, so... Take a lot of parts. A lot of parts we gotta take off here. A lot of rusty stuff as well. Well, here we go. First one immediately rusty. Oof. Rocker. Lifting rod. Bling. Rocker. Lifting rod. Rocker. Rod, rocker, push rod, rocking chair, pushing chair, rocker, lifter, rock, lift, rock, lift. Don't know. Uh, I sound so unenthused, don't I? It's just because while I enjoy this game and I enjoy the realism and I like the most realistic as possible for when, especially when it comes to V8 engines and stuff. Uh, this is a very long and arduous process, <laughs> and when you have to when you're doing it in the real life at the same time. Well, not I guess not at the same time, but you know what I mean. Hopefully. Guessing more rusty bolts. Yep. Just wasn't hitting the right spot. Jeez. <laughs> Rusty. But we're coming up on the, the home stretch of taking apart this engine. Uh, 
whatever. And then the time chain and time gear. I guess we can take out the cam as well. Not that you would do that at this stage. Because you would, uh, you would ruin that cam. Trying to get it out of there without being able to see. I'm sure some people could do it. I just I would rather not. Everything piston and camp. There's one good cap, and there might be two good caps that we can repair. Just holy crap. Of course, the last job had to be a barn find, and <laughs> now I'm complaining. I'm in the complaining phase. Um, this job. But yeah, of course it had to be a barn find, and had to be a barn find with a mostly complete V8 motor. Uh, yeah, I could have... Actually, no, my other choice would have been this motor just with the supercharger. <laughs> Actually. So I really didn't have... I was going to say, well, I got to bought an, uh, the other car, but it's just like, yeah, the only other car was this. <laughs> Essentially. Oh my gosh. That was a lot. Oh. Okay. Be right back with you. Alrighty. And we're back. All the parts done. Let's see what we can put back in. Let's say, uh, yep, did repair the block. Also, fuel filter, oil filter, just to start out with, because we know we're going to need those. Fuel filter. And oil filter. Oh, um. bearing and flywheel okay Prepare the cam Prepare the crank um, I know you can't repair piston rings or pistons I think for that matter as well yeah which is weird because I we just got done cleaning all my pistons, <laughs> all the pistons out of my motor, and we're gonna reuse them, of course. Just good pistons. I mean, we just you know, cleaning up all the carbon, build up on them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we need two more of those. able to repair most of them, which was nice. I've mentioned that before, but once the cleaning process is all done, that's going to be so nice. Because then, once, because, uh, yeah, after you get all the cleaning and stuff done, putting a V8 engine back together, it takes no time at all. It usually goes together pretty fast and, and easy, for the most part. There's a little a few little tidbit um, procedures and stuff you got to follow that uh, are a little bit tedious and boring, but for the most part, it's actually, it, it goes pretty fast, especially if you know the, the torque numbers and stuff, torque down bolts, and you already know where everything goes because you took it apart.
Now that thing's absolutely string cheese, apparently. Like nothing left. Oh, and you can't repair those. Huh. I guess technically that's true. I mean, you could probably um, run the glaze off of it. But, uh, yeah, when you buy a new, um, when you buy a new clutch plate, the clutch plate housing usually comes with it. It's a lot of metal, that's why they're so expensive usually, the kits. Okay. Need one of them. Because I know you can't, um, you can't repair the timing stuff. Over. Can't believe we ended up doing two of these engines in a row. Just <laughs> damn it. <laughs> so boring. Ugh. belt on just yet. I don't want the ghost fan to be in the way. One of those. Oh, also. Uh, electronics. It's PA. Eight of those. Over here. PUS. I'll push rods. Sixteen. And then rock. Rocker arms. Sixteen. Fun parts coming up. Yay, the part everybody loves. Don't you dare think about skipping it. <laughs> we'll put on both heads, make it as tedious as possible. And this... I'm just kind of leaving that light loom. dreaded parts that are putting on the parts. This is going to take forever. But yeah, like I said. Don't you dare skip this part. Here we go. How dare you skip ahead. Cannot believe you did that. Uh, skipping ahead in my videos. Oh, why I oughta. Uh, I know you skipped. Don't even try to hide it. <laughs> Can't have you guys suffering too much now. <laughs> it's a little bit suffering sometimes, especially when you do the same engine over and over and over and over and over again. Uh, electrical shop. Need a distributor, please. Usually the distributor comes all in one kit. I'm 
buy the parts individually. Oh. I did manage to repair that apparently, somehow. And that, somehow. missing part of it. Oh no, we weren't. Okay, never mind. I just bought a fan for no reason. <laughs> uh, we were missing the top bit. That's right. the entire engine done. Looks like it, doesn't it? Very good. Very, very good. Not too bad. Okay. Take engine off a of stand. Hooray, we're finally done with the engine. <laughs> that we've done twice now. Okay, now we can put in the radiator. Was missing the radiator. Car status. 97%. Oh, we're missing. Okay. Never mind. We're missing this stuff down here. Alright. Let's take care of that real quick. Managed to fully rebuild the transmission too. Oh, there we go. Oh, we managed to fix the starter. I don't think it had a drive shaft though. Six hundred fifty dollars for that drive shaft. Guess we made a titanium. Insane. Alright. Our status. 100% across the board. Just gotta fill it up with fluids and we're done. Oh, we're not done. I wanna do some testing. Um, not with the... Uh, you'll see. You'll see. It's not bad. Won't take up too much time. Look, motherfucker. <laughs> I really wish you could rotate the freaking camera. It's so annoying that you can't. Like, you can do this. That's about it. That's all you can do. Like, you can try and rotate the camera all you want. And nothing. Controls don't respond. At least we'll be able to see when it's full. Because that's how you tell when the engine is full is when it's pouring out the valve cover because you filled it. <laughs> don't do that. Please don't do that. Not want to ruin your engine. Because there is such a thing in cars as too much fluid and not enough fluid. Just like not enough fluid, there's, there is such a thing as too much fluid. Okay, that's all the fluids. Speaking of. Yep, we got brake fluid, got oil, got coolant, got uh, power steering, got washer fluid. Okay. Okay. So, what I'm going to do... Um... 
Oh, that's my list for satisfactory. I'm going to write down real quick our status. So right now, without doing anything else, past getting all the parts to 100%, um, the sell price is five nine six four five. Sorry, I'm a slow writer, just like I'm a slow reader. Okay, so I, I want to sell or sell. I want to test something. Are right, we gonna move car to the test path? Let's see if aligning it actually gives it value. I haven't actually tested this in this game. Five nine six four five. Okay, so aligning it did not give it any value. You're only doing that for yourself, really. What about aligning the headlights? Five nine six four five. Nope. So we did not gain any value from doing that. Even if we move back to Pearl after A. So five nine six four five. Okay. So that so we know that does not give it any value. Okay, so what about painting the car? Um factory color, which is red. Wait, isn't there more factory colors? I actually want a silver. Okay, we're spending a grand. Okay, and then we're going to move the car back to car vector A. So we've spent a grand on this. So it should be... Um, six zero six four five. So we actually lost money on that by painting it. Yeah, because if we add a grand, it should be um, it should be six zero six four five, and it's six zero one seven zero. So you gain. A little bit of muddy, but you you lose out. Okay, so um, yeah, I was going to see, but I can't I can't access my calculator right now. All right, I was going to see how much we actually lost on that deal. So yeah, painting doesn't add any value to the car. Well, it does, but it doesn't at the same time. Like you. You gain a little bit of value for the car, but you still wasted a grand. Unfortunate. But we did get a $43,000 profit. Um, we're still $43,000 up on the car. So, not bad. Alright, sell the car. And we're now $462,000. Very nice, very nice. Okay. So, um, we're going to go ahead and end here, but... But... Let's see what job we would have gotten had we spun again. We did this last time, too. It's always fun. So, ready? Three, two, one... Spin the wheel. Let's see what we get. Is that, is that junkyard? I think that's junkyard. It landed almost exactly in between. I think we would have gotten a junkyard. Saw another junkyard one. All right. Not bad, not bad. Okay.
But like I said, that's going to be it for this episode of Saturday Mega Episodes. If you watched all the way till the end, congratulations. I thank you. Um, if you if you subscribed, I thank you for that. If you liked, commented, even just the views, man, even just the views help. Uh, anything to help out, I thank you for that. So, uh, hope you enjoyed. I will, you know. I would totally understand if you didn't. Um, this can get quite a, pretty boring and monotonous. This game. That's why I think this is going to be the last episode. I think I'm. I think I'm about done with the car mechanic sim. I've had my fill. <laughs> I've had my fill, and I am full. Um, but yeah. Um, if you want, if you want me to do another episode of Car Mechanic Sim, let me know. Um, You'd have to do some convincing, though. <laughs> I need to find something else. Um, just to remind you, uh, September 20th is when the new construction simulator is coming out. Uh, that's when it releases on Steam. So later this month, hopefully we'll be playing some construction sim. And our buddy that we used, uh, used to play games with, I uh, haven't played games with him in a little over a month now, I think. It's been a little over a month, maybe a month, month, two months, somewhere in there. Um, he says that uh, more than likely he will be uh, joining us and we'll be playing some multiplayer as long as it works. Hopefully to not too many bugs and we don't run into too many issues. And we can have a laugh and all that. And that'll be a Saturday thing as well. Um, Unless we decide to turn it, we can turn it into a series, like an hour series, um, every day for the week. We'll see. Um, I don't know his schedule or anything, so we'll have to talk it over. But, uh, yeah, when we come up with a plan for that, it'll probably be closer to the September 20th date. Or maybe a little bit after, we'll explain it, whatever, it's fine. But, yeah, um, again, hope you enjoyed. I understand if you didn't. And until next time. On Car Mechanic Sim 2021. <laughs> Exciting Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> hey, goodbye.